Ray. Get our stuff. Get our panelists up here. I did the wrong. There we go. Oh, uh, there you are. Come up here. Sorry, there's so many buttons. <laughs> it's okay. That's what we're here for. Oh, uh, and a one button. horse open sleigh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> also, if you guys are ready, I can hit the uh, go live button here. I already got I'm ready. Set up. Whenever you guys are. Yep. I think we got about like four more minutes, so we should. We right. I'm unfortunately brewing a pot of coffee, so I'm going to scurry away like a little animal and grab it before this that we start. But Steve's going to be the one yelling at the beginning anyway, so it'll give me a minute to get it. Did you say I'm just yelling? Yeah. Steve's going to be screaming the whole brewing. time. He told me yesterday. He said the entire plan that he wants to do is just scream the entire time until he can't speak anymore. So be <laughs> ready. Is it the is the studio audience where we could see like people typing and stuff? Um, yeah, you can see that like in the in the discussion chat. Okay. So if if you see if you see where you see where it says Sonic R show discussion. Okay, okay. Hi audience, I see you guys. Hey Hello. Uh, uh, let yeah. me get the panel rolled up. That the audience knows. Hi, everybody. How's nice everybody you doing? I have to read this with my own eyes. It yes, thank you, uh, Ultimate VA. I, uh, I see. Um, that's thank you so much. <laughs> oh, me, excuse uh, me. Uh, as soon as I hit go live, I'll head straight into the mm-hmm. audience. Yep. Yeah, I think I'll ask you in a minute. Like two separate discords open just so I can try to see the chat and see who's talking. Uh, <laughs> no, I'll, I'm not. <laughs> Don't worry, I have my computer and my mobile device at the ready. <laughs> oh my god. There you go. Right, Not the only one. Scary down the stairs. Do, 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 do. Uh, Sonic, our show discussion. I think I found it. Yay. There you go. Yahoo! Eat. Two more minutes. <laughs> Gonna vibe over here, eat some sunflower seeds. <laughs> I had a banana nut muffin for, for my pre stream. Wow. Oh, uh, I think we still need to add Alex to the oh, stage here. I thought he was up here. No, out. Al- Alex, lost. Yeah, <laughs> there you are. It was dark. I scary. didn't get the most lost. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Everybody's going to be excited to see you today, Alex. Really? Yeah. Everybody loves silver. <laughs> yes. He yeah, finally the boys already cool. in the chat. <laughs> I don't believe you. Uh, I when we did that little part where Alex was on camera, I got a lot of comments. I knew you looked like that, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, well, <laughs> I wish I was tall, dark, and handsome like Alex. Oh, stop it, you! <laughs> I got the dumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. It's okay. I wish I was tall, dark, and handsome too. Oh. <laughs> I, I gotta settle for five foot tall, but you know no, what? No. It uh, it works. Well, at least you could hide in the cupboard when the robbers come. Yeah, <laughs> rob this. Just bust out with a weapon. Oh, Caps posted a picture of the credits from uh, the second Christmas. Song. Like, I just, they're me. so tiny and red. Like, what a! I, I think I even ca- said something to you, Steve, and you're you were just like, "I'm so tired, I don't care." Yeah, well, I have like honestly, like most Christmas with Sonics are like oh. I'm finishing them up like like right before we have to fly somewhere. Yeah, I yeah. re edited the one. All right, all right, guys, it is five o'clock. I'm going to hit the go live in three, two, one, and we should be good to go. All right. Now we'll head over to the audience. The stage is all yours. All righty. So, hi, everyone. Welcome to the Christmas with Sonic uh, Q&A with Bellinger Productions. I am Kevin. I'm one of the co-hosts here. And we have my other co-host, Anne, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Enda Fox. Thank you so much for joining our panel today. Would our uh, panelists like to introduce themselves, or would you like us to introduce you? Uh, um, I, I will just call. What we'll call out everybody's name? Uh, why don't you go first, Steve? 
Hello, I am Steve, uh, Mr. Productions himself. Uh, I am also the voice of many of the characters from Christmas and Sonic, including Sonic himself, Eggman, Vector, SBO, Biscuit, and so on. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, uh, Sonic Revolution uh, panel, for uh, allowing us to come on and talk about our lovely little series. All right, uh, go ahead, uh, Ted, a.k.a. Apocadry. Oh, hi. Uh, I am Apokheji, uh, also known as Ted, also known as Tails Dad, also known as Toy Freddy. <laughs> um, uh, I just do, the, I mostly do the voice for Tails Dad for Steve recently, although Christmas Sonic has since ended. Although there may be more on that later, right, Steve? Um, either way, I'm just, I do the model stuff for Steve too. And I yell a lot. That's me. Hello. Uh, go ahead, KN. Hello, everybody. My name is KN. I'm from Sonic Song 182, and I've been the voice of Tails on Steve's channel since I think uh, like the second video on there that was made with yeah, the 3D 2009. model. 2009. So it was always Tails, except for Pizza Hog, was it? What's that first one? Glitch called? Hog. Just the Glitch very, Hog. very first one. Mm, hungry. <laughs> Uh, uh, but yeah, I guess I play some other people too. Uh, I, I'm Rouge, and uh, I did play Tails' mom for like two seconds, but uh, that's not official. I'm uh, I'm Blaze, and uh, occasional background people. Oh yeah, duh, Amy. Amy I, I play like the other half of the cast. <laughs> All right, uh, go ahead, Alex. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Alexander the Swell, and I play the voice of Silver. In Christmas with Sonic, and I also yell a lot. All right, and I know. I think your uh, yells are better. Oh. Nah. We've got and, Rihanna also. Yeah, I know Rihanna. Yeah. I, I I live in Steve's um, head. Head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I my name is Rihanna Dorsey. I'm the illustrator behind Belina Productions. Uh, Steve and I've been working together since 2008. Um. I uh, draw all of the panels you see for Christmas with Sonic. I am also the voice of Alina, Sonia, and Charmy. <laughs> and yeah. I've spent many a uh, holiday working on th these projects. So they were lots of fun. And uh, since uh, Sydney is in the audience and unfortunately is unable to speak, would one of you like to uh, just introduce her role in the project real, real quick and see what the one that came up with the best for this panel? Thank you, Sydney. Yes, Sydney is an amazingly talented voice actor, artist, just overall amazing person. While she has not been in Christmas with Sonic, she is, however, going to be the one of the biggest stars of our upcoming movie, Sonic and Scared Stupid, the final chapter which we're hoping to still have happen if our Patreon is a success, which is one of the reasons why Sydney wanted to uh, pitch this in the first place is because we have opened a Patreon because YouTube has been treating our channel extremely unfairly, mm -hmm. marking all of our videos as made for kids, killing the views and all that. So if we could become self-funded on Patreon, uh, we will continue to work on that movie. And Sydney will be playing the role of Mel the Bat, who is a absolute firecracker of a villain. She is amazing. Sydney killed that role. That is her character. And uh, as we say in the in in, in the Baylina crew, do it for Mel, as as it was said. Yeah, do it, do it for Mel. And I did pay, uh, pin the link to the Patreon in the Sonic Art Show discussion. Uh, but after Steve, we'll be welcome to talk about it a little bit later in the panel. But uh, Anne, would you like to just go over the rules real quick before we get started? Uh, yes. Uh, please do follow these. Uh, for today's panel, uh, we will talk about the history behind the series of Christmas with Sonic, uh, learn about the artwork put into it, and talk about behind the scenes with the voice acting. Then we will open up the questions to the audience. Afterwards, uh, we have a special surprise. We will ask question. We will let you ask questions to the Christmas with Sonic characters themselves. You can ask questions to characters like Sonic, Manic, Tails, Silver, basically anyone who's here. I will put you, I will put a list in the uh, chat so you can know which characters and which uh, yeah. person to uh, go to for their questions. And yeah. without further ado, I love to know more of all about you, <laughs> all of you. Sorry. Yeah. 
No, it's all good. So yeah, this is not a general Q and A. It's not like you know what's your favorite Sonic character and all that stuff. Just try to keep it to questions about Christmas with Sonic, because that is a panel topic. But yeah, uh, anyway, let ha, ha, so let's start from the beginning. Is how did this all get started? What was the idea behind this series? So in 2008, Rihanna and I made our very first project ever, which is called the OMG Most Original Fanfic Idea Ever. I'm sure mm-hmm. everybody in the audience knows, you know, with Soros and, and Pinky. Um, and it was just kind of something we did off the cuff. And back in those days, videos really didn't go viral like they do now. Um, like these days, you post something, millions of people see it within a couple of weeks where the fan fiction video like went viral on DeviantArt, like it amassed like thousands of views. And so we thought, oh, we have like kind of like a classic on our hands here. We should do another one. And for a long time, we were trying to develop um, a sequel and it just never worked because like, obviously, you know, lightning never strikes twice. And eventually just the conversation led to, well, what if we did something a little more wholesome or something more, I guess, real rather than being so completely bonkers. <laughs> and the conversation just kind of led to, well, let's do a Christmas special. And, and uh, we just kind of developed it from there. And that first Christmas with Sonic just became such a beloved thing for everybody that we were like, well, we got to do another mm-hmm. one. So that's kind of, and it just kind of snowballed from there. Yeah. I really, um, at the time I was really, into I wanted to do something with um, the underground characters, um, and I I thought it would be really really funny if it's like oh what if uh, Sonic had to go to his mom's house and he because he doesn't really talk about like Alina or Sonia and Manic and stuff, and I thought it would be a really fun way to reintroduce those characters in the context of uh, the awkward family get together. And then, of course, Rihanna's artwork got uh, borrowed by Saw Sega. <laughs> Sonia from Christmas with Sonic made it into a, the video game. Yes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and the TN, what is it? Uh, Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing. Sonic uh, and Sega All Stars Racing, and it's been removed from every version since. Sorry to interject, but it's it's still on the Wii version. If you want to see it, just Wii. get the Wii copy. Oh. It's still there. <laughs> if, you, yeah, if you want, if you want to see Sonia in a Sega game, you're welcome. Yeah. Just get the so Wii so that means Christmas with Sonic is canon. So just 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 in case anybody was wondering, <laughs> that means that biscuit's real. Huh. But yeah, you know, and then just yeah, every year we made more and more of them, and just that they became this like beloved holiday classic, and that's where we are today. Hey, uh, so Anne, would you like to ask the next question? Uh, yes. Now, Reina, you're the artist behind the series. Tell us about your process and your work with Christmas with Sonic. So we always start with a script. Um, which Steve and I work on together. Like literally we'll, we will sit in front of the computer and just like brainstorm. And I would, I would usually type it, Steve. Yeah. You always, I always it. typed it. Okay. And then once we had the script, um, I would just, you know, crack open. I use paint tool sign. I have been using paint tool size for Christmas with Sonic for, um, uh, ever, like ever since the beginning. So I, it was just, you know, I just had a vision of um, what was going on in the script. And I would I would start kind of thumbnailing it and I would show Steve. I'd be like, is this kind of what we had in mind? And he'd be like, oh, yeah, this is totally it. Or, oh, no, I, I thought it would be this way. And we would talk about how um, we would adjust. And it's, it's just, you know, it's a typical like animatic storyboarding process, really. I got a small follow up question for that. So what led to the decision to use like the animatic art style, say, versus like a 2D or, or like a 3D art style? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? I try. So what led to the decision to use an, an animatic art style, say, versus like a 2D or a 3D art style that you would see, say, like compared to the other, other video? Okay. It's just production time, right? It's production time. And at the time, Steve, you didn't, you kind of were just. Well, I was still doing Gary's mods. You're still like, in just, Gary's mods. Yeah. Like right. it, I wasn't even doing th- animation yeah, at that point. Yeah. So I'm sure, I'm sure if we were to do Christmas with Sonic today, it would have been a fully realized yeah. like 3D uh, thing. But just at the time, uh, I was like still doing like mostly still images in Gary's mod. Mm-hmm. So the idea that the artwork could like project the feeling more of Christmas more than a, than just like a, like a basic 3d thing, I think is what really led to it because the expressions in Christmas with Sonic were not possible in Gary's mod. Yeah. We were not limited to the resources that Steve only had for like Gary's mod. Like I could draw literally whatever I could draw, whatever sets I wanted. I could draw whatever characters and whatever costumes. So at the time it was a lot more uh, practical for just me to draw the whole thing um, because of the limitations that Steve had at the time. And 
we stuck to it because that became a tradition, obviously. Um, as so much as contrast I, against the 3D stuff, too, yeah, just uh, to show like you know we're not one one trick pony. Yeah, yeah, because 2D does have a th- different feel, almost a more, especially nowadays, um, a more nostalgic feel than 3D stuff. Although I do really like your reanimated. Oh yeah, the, the, that we, was really cool. We did a reanimated bit from the first Christmas with Sonic, which sadly got flagged as made for kids, and it Oops. just show, goes to show just like how far the entire channel's come because now we can recreate those expressions in uh, in uh, 3D. Yeah. And uh, I'll put this in the in the in the discussion chat too for everyone to see <laughs> that uh, I, we're doing contrast, an upcoming uh, video which will mix the two together, three D and two D <sighs> together, uh, showing Manic there. He's sad because he just he wants to be three D, you know. Mm, he so wants those polygons. He wants polygons and tries, <laughs> you know. And so um, it's it's just uh, Christmas with Sonic has really uh, come a li- really long way from its uh, its roots. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about the uh, voice work behind the series now, and uh, we can have each of you a- answer this. So, uh, just um, what could, could tell us like like what that process was like? And I have a small little question to add in on my own. It's like, wh- what was the idea like behind the, the characters' personalities themselves? Like when coming up with them and coming up with the voices for them and, and all that. So, with everything I do with Sonic. Um, I don't follow their strict canon over at Sega or whatever. I always want to do what I feel is right in my heart for these characters, which is why it's fan fiction. <laughs> when it comes to their personalities, um, especially like in Christmas Sonic, like obviously Silver is very, very different <laughs> than he is in, in the games. We want to make something that's entertaining because um, Rihanna and I are both, you know, we're, we're old Sonic fans. Mm-hmm. You know, we were there since day one and it's very different than it is now. So we like to stay true to the characters that we knew and grew up with. And, um, you know, we just both of us just kind of personally feel that the characters have all become very boring cardboard <laughs> cutouts where in Christmas with Sonic, we try to give everybody like a unique personality to make to make them shine, so to speak. And a lot of people are, are really happy that we did that. When it comes to voices, though, it's just a matter of um, looking at a character and, and, and kind of feeling how they should sound and look or, you know, in the case of like, Ted for Tails Dad. We just based Tails Dad on Ted. He's just Ted the Fox, <laughs> yeah. more or less. We we did have a character at first, like oh, he's a computer engineer, or, or you know, and, and then it, we just thought it just was funny. If it, it was just literally our friend Ted. Yeah. So Hi. when it comes to the voices too, um, it's just I kind of you know uh, we already had a bit of an established canon like before Christmas with Sonic. Uh, you know that's why uh, K N was uh, Tails and Amy and Blaze and Rouge. Um, and then we just kind of, you know, like they, they're this part of the same universe as those 3D animations. So, you know, like when it comes to like silver, we we were we were goofing on silver a lot in the beginning. But because of Alex and his amazing performances, <laughs> we kind of crafted him into a really a better character. So Alex is responsible for why silver is such a fun character, because we we he was more than what we originally conceived. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of what we do with the voices and stuff is this it kind of has to be a genuine attempt at making this character unique. Why are they here? You know, it's, we get a lot of complaints. Why isn't cream in it? Why isn't gamma in it? Whatever. I don't want to draw all those characters. Yeah, well, we don't want to draw all those characters. <laughs> yeah. And then it's also a matter of why are they there? Yeah. That's like the most important thing. It's like, yeah, do you want your favorite character in there? Or do you want them in there because there's a reason mm-hmm. for them to be in there? That's the, that's the how we feel. We really care about these characters a lot. So yeah. we want to treat them with as much respect as I did want to comment real quick too about the underground characters. Uh, a lot of their character and personalities is shaped by the specific story that they're in in the show, and a lot of, obviously a lot of it doesn't apply in um, the Billina Productions Sonic story. So we kind of had to delete a lot of stuff. So Manic is not the punk drummer. He's kind of this wholesome cinnamon roll. Always dressed nicely for Christmas because of professional Manic. Twitch streamer twitch.tv <laughs> slash manic done quick. Oh no. Uh, Wait, manic done quick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm done quickly. Yeah. And uh, Alina's more of like, like, like a like a stay at home like single mom and Sonia's kind of just like a um she's kind of the same. <laughs> she's ob- she's obligated to be there. She's obligated to be there. You can't have manic and Alina without Sonia. I do love Sonia. Uh, I was going to say like, like, you know, like, yeah, like, like we do come up with like kind of backstories. Like for example, like Alina is all quiet and reserved now, but before she had kids, she was like a rock singer. Like she had like a band and like, she was like, you know, like a rebel, Uh but then like she had kids and then she's like, she's a good mom. So, (laughs) you know, it's, 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 we don't do Sonic stuff for like this, just 
this like um, shallow, like, oh, it's a popular series. We like legitimately love these characters yeah. and, and everything. So I do. That is the character. Those underground characters are my favorite part about the show. Yeah. I'm just sad they're in the I, I do. I do. Whenever I do my voices for Christmas with Sonic, I always save Manic for near last because mm-hmm. he's like one of my favorites to do. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I obviously Sonic's my favorite, but uh, everyone really likes Manic. Like every time we go to Sonic Revolution in person, people come it's up to us. I love Manic. Can you please do Manic's voice? And it's like, it's so cool I to see that. that we've kind of adopted those characters into making them something that could fit into Sonic mm-hmm. these days. So. Mm-hmm. Which is nice because I really do. Like if yeah. that's not clear by now. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Ted? Uh, why don't you go into to your role as Taylor Cat next? All right. Well, Steve is more or like less that, <laughs> covered the beginning of it. Yeah. Um, basically, I was I was minding my own business, you know, up here in the Great White North, digging myself out of the igloo. I got a letter from Steve that said, "Hey, Ted, I need you to do a voice for me." And I said, "Okay, what do you want?" Because uh, like, I've I'm not like I classically like trained actor or anything but i've been in a few like things i've done some audio voice stuff for my dad before he does audio dramas i've been in various audio dramas and stuff i can i can act i just it's not something that's like i'm like someone like haha i'm an actor and all that but I, I can do it and steve was like okay so what you're gonna do is we need your voice i'm like what do you want your voice uh, just okay so Taylor's dad was just do your voice read these lines do your voice but uh, even though it is just my voice, uh, I still take the time. I read the whole script. I look at the context. I understand. I try to make sure that even though I'm just reading my lines, I don't want it to be just me looking at a script going, oh, yeah, it's me. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm high. I'm Tails Dad. You guys just made no, no way. Silver's cookies just made me puke. There we go. That should be a good line take. There you go, Steve. You know, you got to actually get into it. And it was just fun to get into a voice role for Steve. And then the other one, of course, like he made me do Toy Freddy, which is the same voice as well, which is just that but just even less like even more reserved but tails dad is a lot of fun to do and uh i really enjoyed doing it when i had my chance especially in the what was it christmas with sonic in uh uh reunion where i got to yell at uh sonic's dad that was fun i like being able to yell hey, you canadian jerk that was hey dad <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Would sorry you calling me no wait that's the wrong video oops <laughs> <laughs> so sorry eh? <laughs> well, that's, I think that's talk what about how it. someone complained uh, about oh yeah I can tell that too yeah. <laughs> we uh, there was somebody in Steve's comments on that video who uh, like left a comment saying that I can't believe you would say that about Canadians this is so rude and mean to Canadians as a Canadian I'm so offended I'm like as a Canadian I'm the one who recorded the lines I thought it was funny and then the funniest thing is I think it was either this year or last year like four years later he puts another message saying, I'm still mad about this. And I'm like, oh, dude, no. it's, it's, it's oh, been four years. I don't years. think he's Canadian. Oh, he, no. no Canadian's ever that mad. <laughs> well, he might be in Toronto. Sorry to those of you. Ted, I don't mean to cast asparagus okay, to yeah. those of you in Toronto, but Torontonians are kind of rude. And that's, I think that about covers Teal's dead. Uh, let's go to you next, KN. Uh, why don't you talk about the roles that you did on Christmas with Sonic? Well, I played Tails and then a bunch of the women folk, aside from like Sonic's family member ladies. Um, and me, the uh, most beautiful woman of all. Oh, yeah, that one's top tier. Beautiful <laughs> goddess. Oh. Um, I think that I, uh, I did the. Tails has had a consistent voice throughout the whole Christmas with Sonic series. I had previously done his voice differently on Steve's channel before they had the voice actor change in the in uh, the games. I forget who the previous actor was, but I think it was when they swapped it to uh, Colleen during Sonic Colors. And I remember Kate I Higgins. recorded Kate. H- oh, thank you. It was uh, Kate Higgins before. So I had a more uh, Kate Higgins style Tails performance previously. And I think it was like. Sonic and Jaws, uh, I had recorded all of my lines doing the uh, the old style one, and then Steve heard the new voice of Tails, he's like, wait a minute. Okay, and I'm sorry to do this to you, but can you record this entire episode over again, but with this voice instead? And I'm like, you know what, for you, I will do it, because everything Steve and Rihanna make, they're, uh, I know they put like a ton of work into it, and it's beautiful. So everything that I do for them, I got to try my absolute hardest because uh, I know it's going to bring a lot of charm to it. So I have re-recorded entire scripts just to get it right. 
And I think that the most fun I had uh, performing for Christmas with a... Uh, no, actually, it wasn't... Well, the most fun I had performing for Steve is I finally got to record in the booth. I did it twice. Yeah. One time it was just like the outside standing booth, but now Steve's got like this super dope closet booth. It was hot in there. But it was it was very fun uh, to actually go on like, quote unquote, on set and get to like record while Steve was there so he could give me the line directions. So it's uh, it's especially fun when you get to do it in person, because we do all live uh, very far away from each other. I mean, like or Ted's. Mm -hmm. Very far away. <laughs> um, so when we can cluster furthest. ourselves. Yeah, I think so. Well, so when you can cluster us together somehow or another, um, it ends up just adding that much more fun to the uh, voiceover uh, process. And we got to do that the last time because I was in town for Sonic Revo. Wee! That was really cool. It was great hearing you work. Like You are an absolute professional the way you did things in there. You are amazing. Oh, my goodness. You raised, Thank you. You raised a good kid, Dad. <laughs> Yay, Dad! Look, I, also, I try. <laughs> Ted totally broke one of Steve's coffee cups. Yeah, I was no. so mad. I was like, I was like, listen, my son is not allowed to come around here anymore with you, you hooligan. So I grabbed the coffee pot and I threw it to the ground as hard as I could. I was so mad. I heard it shatter in the other room. I was like, what the? <laughs> I was so angry. You wouldn't believe it. Anyway, uh, that's, that's me. <laughs> uh, so how about you, uh, Alec? Why don't you talk about your role as Silver in Christmas with Sonic? Yeah, so I think that all started. It was just um, a message on Skype one day. Uh, Steve was just like, hey, um, can you do a voice for me? I, I need you to sound as whiny and, and pathetic as possible. I think that was like the main direction, <laughs> um, which I mean, like at that point, it's like, oh, dude, I, I could do that. Like, you sure you want me to just do a voice, and not speak? But like it was, um, yeah, it was it was a thing of like, um, you know, like uh, I think Silver was maybe like the last to be like cast, right? Because I think that happened in like, uh, <laughs> yeah. So it was like, it was like the, the only one like uh, that was left. Um, and yeah, so um, I th I think like towards the beginning there was definitely a point where I, I think like uh, Silver um, it was probably like had like the most turbulence, I would say. With everything, um, mainly because, like Steve mentioned, uh, Silver has like the most radical departure from from the way like the characters are portrayed. Like everybody else, like I know, like you guys have like their own like individual like like unique personalities, like to you know to these videos. But they're, you know they're they're also like in line with I think what audiences would expect. And you know Silver's kind of like the outlier, I would say, with all that. So there was definitely a point where um, yeah, a lot of people didn't really take to that immediately. Um, and unfortunately the, the thing is, um, with silver, um, it's, it's, it kind of stinks that he's kind of like the poster child for, I guess, like the, the downfall of Sonic, you know, being, he debuted, he debuted in like a, uh, a game that wasn't particularly well liked, you know? And, and so like, he was kind of, you know, the butt of the joke in, in a lot of fan projects and stuff. And, and that's kind of like the route that, that, uh, Steve and, and Rihanna ended up taking. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so a, a lot of, um, a lot of the comments were, were kind of directed towards that. Uh, I remember initially, and, and there was definitely a part where, or, or a point in time where I kind of felt, you know, maybe I should just be like sidelined and maybe I, you know, maybe I just shouldn't be a part of these. Cause I felt like I was almost like dragging everything down because like you would see, you know, a lot of the comments, uh, like here you have like these, these awesome videos that are, you have like Rihanna's like beautiful illustrations. You have Steve's great sound design. And all the comments are, are, are people, you know, being like, uh, you made my favorite character look silly, you know, and just like, <laughs> they really, really like, you know, they really like didn't take to it. And um, I just like felt really bad. But I think around the time, uh, I think it maybe it might have been Christmas with Silver where uh, I, I think everything kind of like turned around a bit where, you know, people were noticing, oh, OK, so he's not just like a one note, you know, punching bag. And um, and yeah, ever since that, I think. Um, Hopefully, I feel like uh, people, you know, kind of like uh, started viewing him a little more positively and 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 all that. So yeah. I could tell you this, Alex, uh, the comments section with that has completely disappeared after mm. Christmas with Silver. Like we don't oh, get cool. any yeah. like I think after we showed him like crying and like being like a person, mm -hmm. people are like, oh, I think I get it now. If I want to oh, uh, yeah. if I if I want to piggyback on that, um, I, I, I was actually pretty upset 
um, when people were were sad that we basically made Silver a punching bag because I've always really liked Silver even since his debut, and yeah. uh, I just it was just funny to just completely drag him like in a very 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 affectionate way. But people didn't they missed the affection. So for the subsequent videos, uh, I wanted to make him more uh, make it more obvious that like, like like the joke of oh he gets beat up but he walks it off and he's fine. Like I wanted to make it more clear that this was an affectionate punching bag. He was Not, Roger Rabbit. Yeah, you know. Yeah, drop he, a tuna, a piano on his head, and you know, he'll walk it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially when we introduced Bubby, it became basically a yeah. Roger Rabbit cartoon. And, then, and yeah, and then he he has a. Listen, we hooked him up with Blaze. What else do you guys want? That's you know, true. <laughs> that is very true. I That's mean, canon. Silver fan over here. I appreciated that the in uh, the Christmas with Silver one, Blaze was defending him a little bit in there. You can tell those two have like a history. Like when everyone else was yes. making fun of him, <laughs> like like when he puts the turkey on the table and she just goes, <sighs> like like you know, like she's been through some stuff, some stuff with with Silver. So. Hey, you watch your mouth, Steve. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, you guys. He's doing his best. Oh, there it is. You see what he put on the table? I can't believe this guy. <laughs> the dude was just me. Just me. <laughs> and Alex's silver was just, just, it's so delightful. It's Aww. our favorite time of the year. It's like, I go, Rihanna, Alex, Alex, can give us the lines? And, and then just I, like and I scramble in front of the computer and we listen and we laugh. <laughs> and you're just going, ow! And it, just, it just kills us. <laughs> there, you guys are so sweet. There um, have been times, Alex, when you were sick. And you could yes. record some lines. So Steve did do some silver lines. Yeah, and Christmas That's was true. Song of Paradise. I did like half of his lines, and I, it's some surprise people. Are like, oh, I didn't know. I'm like, I, I thought I did terrible. Mm. I can't, no, I can't emulate this man. No, because no, it's like it's not like a particularly like hard voice to do. I think it's just like a lot of like my own like cadence and like the idiosyncrasies are there like in it. So that that maybe that's why it might be hard to replicate. But no, I was like really glad that like nobody noticed. Uh, or like picked up on that because I feel like maybe that could have like taken people out of it. But um, I mean, yeah, I know like, this, but I'm silly. Oh I know God, your voice, this. Alex. We are going to talk about this after this panel. This is <laughs> time out. I, I, Teddy. <laughs> I know your voice too, well, Alex. It's it's not. It's you guys were saying. Though, I just want to add real quick before you continue that it, it's true it's, though. It's it's, it's Alex, not Alex, just really, the voice. It's everything about you. you I'm sorry. You are the character. I don't know if the people. Like, because this is streaming on Twitch and YouTube. I don't know if they can see Ted's profile picture. Oh. You, you saying all of this and, and just looking at this profile, I'm like seething right now. Like, I, I despise you. Oh, I didn't realize I didn't change it here. Oops. Alex, <laughs> Alex, do you see the picture of Silver in the chat? Uh, I don't. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Everyone's posting this scandal. <laughs> <laughs> so. the, the caption, the caption is very naughty. And I just wanted to hear you say those words. What? Very naughty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that what the caption says? I, yeah. to I can't. Say, I did a blind, blind read, but like, uh, no, <laughs> like it, it, like totally became uh, a tradition too. That like I would get sick every time I was working. Like around that time, oh I was God. working at um at Toys R Us. So like. You know, I, I would like uh, deal with like all these like little rugrats who are like sneezing and farting and everything. Open mouth and cough. Open mouth. <laughs> open mouth cough and, <laughs> and all that. Right and, next um, <laughs> and yeah, oh, so I get like no. sick every time. And and yeah, and like I another thing too, like that was kind of brought up like before, like when we were all kind of just like chatting together was was the screaming that kind of like became with Silver was kind of like the you know his his, his, his staple his like, little trademark, <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, and that's a thing that I can't even do anymore. Um, <laughs> And that's like, that's really important. Like, yeah, I, I like my pipes just got like all rearranged and that sounds dirty, but like, uh, man. <laughs> I became, yeah, it's like a second puberty, like in my mid twenties. Like, uh, yeah. So, um, I think a lot of them like now are just, I don't remember when the last like session or the last like recordings I did of like just pure screaming, but like, yeah, now they're, they're just like stock screams. I now. think we've been reusing them since Christmas with Eggman. I think so. Yeah. I, I, cause Steve before Steve had a habit of deleting, um, the, I didn't have room for stuff. Yeah, I always saved everything because I I'm a hoarder and I just save everything. So I I think it was the first time you couldn't record the screams either because you got sick or something. And, yeah, and we were like, oh no, what we're we gonna do? And I'm like, it's fine. I have the ones from last year. Yeah. So as long as I continue to like shift their pitches and stuff, we'll have infinite Alex screams mm -hmm. for years to come. And yeah, hopefully if the Patreon does well enough, y'all, we'll get a uh, Christmas with Sonic going. Fingers again, so. and toes crossed. <clears throat>
Alex, I'm not shocked that you can't do that scream anymore. And also, that's probably good. Uh, you don't want to do that for too many years. <laughs> You're going to have like permanent like throat damage. So yeah, I don't... it may be for the best, my man. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I think you're right. I think you're right. I, yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to agree with you on there. Yeah. For the it's, sake of your otherwise, uh, continuously beautiful voice. It may be for the you can do stop silver. <laughs> as long as you could just do silver. That's all that matters. I'm sure. Uh, uh, Ace in the chat says that we are $60 away from reaching 2000 on the, on the Patreon. Yeah, is, do you, nice. you want to talk about your Patreon, uh, Steve? I can, I can uh, bring up the screen here is, on is my Is Alex end. done talking about silver? Yeah. Is that it oh, for yeah, you, Alex? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> no worries. Yeah. No worries. Just want to make sure. Yeah, so, oh, thank uh, you. yeah, we'll quickly talk about the Patreon. So, yeah, um, as I mentioned earlier, YouTube is is killing our channel. Um, and the, the reason we had to stop, one of the, one of the reasons we had to stop Christmas with Sonic was because um, their algorithm changed so that um, like storyboard style is like just not okay. Like mm -hmm. they don't want you to do that because they don't consider it a real video. Um, so, so with that, like we would spend hundreds of, of not, if not thousands of dollars making a Christmas mm -hmm. with Sonic. I have to stop work because yeah. these things take me a, a good, about two months, about two months. Yeah. So I have to, st I, I have to stop work for two months mm -hmm. in order to do these. So, that that is money lost on my part. Yeah. Um, I was going to say though, um, one of the reasons why we were having a hard time coming up with Christmas with Sonic ideas is because of that pressure that if it doesn't do good, we're going to be in trouble. So we ended Christmas with Sonic to save ourselves. But if the Patreon does well enough, I believe the goal uh, is 75, a um, hundred a month on Patreon. It was 85. Yeah, it was 85. Because it's close to 2000 a month now. Yeah. If we could get up to that, we would bring Christmas with Sonic back every mm, single year. Absolutely. So, um, if you guys uh, are feeling yeah, generous, you know, it's, it's, just, yeah, 85. It's, it's, it's as low as a dollar a month if you want to. Um, and if we had a lot more people, we could bring the series back and we have ideas. Um, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll give you a little sneak peek. We already kind of were jamming out the next idea for the next Christmas with Sonic about Sonic Manic, Silver, and Tails Dad going on a road trip to Rudolph Con, uh, mm -hmm. against Sonic's will. So, you know, if you want to see something like that, you know, we got it. We this unfortunately the reality is that these things take money to do, and we would love to bring them back. If YouTube was a more fair place, we wouldn't even have to ask for anything. I did want to interject really quick, if I may, mm -hmm. uh, with regards to the future of Christmas with Sonic stories. We're uh, kind of done with making them about Christmas. Obviously, they're going to still take place to, uh, at Christmas, and Christmas is going to be in the backdrop. But we were going to do more kind of original stories as opposed to revolving around Christmas shenanigans. Cause I agree it did end on a really, really good note, but there's more we could do with these characters mm -hmm. outside of Christmas. Mm -hmm. I mean, Christmas is the setting, but yeah, that's what obviously kind of um, it would still be called Christmas song. Obviously. Yeah, of course, because that's kind of the brand, but yeah. And like going to Rudolph con isn't necessarily a Christmas exclusive no. thing. Um, it could be like Christmas in July for all we know. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, Stuff we've like talked that. about that summer road trip. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if that's something you guys want to see, you know, we, we really could use your support and it's also just to also keep other things happening. Like, you know, Sydney's listening. She, you know, scared stupid for is going to be the biggest project we ever made. Uh, Sonic warriors is something that, uh, I've been work I've been trying to get going. It's just a full animated series. So there's, there's stuff to be had everyone. <laughs> um, so if we, if you guys could, you know, please go do that. And if you can't spread the word, you know, there's a lot that can be done to help with that. Yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's like, like 40% away from the first stretch goal. Yes. If we can reach the first stretch goal, we'll get right back to work on um, Scared Stupid 4. Uh, and also, uh, I'm working on an animation right now to promote the Patreon. This could be hilarious. Manic from Christmas Sonic is in it, as I showed you guys in that mm -hmm. chat. So there's a lot to be had uh, still if we can, if we can get this uh, minimum stretch goal. All righty, so why don't we open it up to the audience, and just, just another reminder, this is not a general Q&A, please try to keep this uh, to Christmas platonic related questions uh, that keep it relevant to the panel, so, and why don't you choose the first person who you want to come up and ask a question to them? Putting you on the spot, Ultimate. Putting you on the spot. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Who? What? Wait, what? Go what? Uh, oh. <clears throat> I remember your question, right? Um, yes, I do. I remember a question. Don't worry. I com did not uh, completely forget when you called me up. I was actually in the middle of pledging to your Patreon. Uh, I was like, eh, what the heck not? Oh, why the heck not? Um, so, Steve, this is a question for you. Um, I know there's a lot of love to like Silver and Manic and all 
you know, these other voices that people do. But I could you um, first of all, I need to know what's Eggman's mom's name again. That voice that you do. Her name is Biscuit. Her name? I thought the, the, the son was named Biscuit. No, he's Bubby. <laughs> Bubby. OK, <laughs> so what was the inspiration for Biscuit then? Marlon Brando. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, OK, so like we were we when we did the third Christmas with Sonic, um, I kind of already had the setup for the next one of, oh, we should make it where they go to Eggman's families for Christmas. So that's why we did that. Um, that part about Sonic kicking Eggman out. And at the time, um, I was really huge into The Godfather because I had I, I I love that movie very much, and and just just Brando was beautiful, and I found myself going around the house just going like oh, 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 you know like like where you like you put your your cheeks down you know oh, you know the day of Madonna's wedding, uh. and then I was like what would Eggman's mom look like and sound like and when we so when we were designing Biscuit Rihanna gave her these huge <laughs> cheeks and I just went oh, Brando so. If you want to do it, you just do Don Corleone, but then you bring it up and you know, and you go, Bobby, Ivy, Sylvie, give me two kisses. So that, that's where she came from, was Brando. Yeah. <laughs> oh, congratulations. I think you killed him. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's right. right. I, I love that dead. voice so much. <laughs> <laughs> up. Keep it together. <clears throat> okay. No, that is by far like the best voice in the entirety. If you could just make a series about Biscuit, I would 100% give you everything I own. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, gaming PC, when I, it's yours. <laughs> when, I, when, I, uh, when I recorded Biscuit one year, in the, I had a friend who was staying with me, and she was in the room, and she had to like cover her mouth and put her face on the floor because I was just doing all these offbeat things. But she's like, I'm a BBW, a big, beautiful woman. I always have. I always have to be in another room when Steve does voices. Too. Oh, and one more thing about Biscuit for the for, for the <laughs> second time she was in it. I think it was the uh, uh, Paradise. Yeah, uh, we Rihanna drew a new frame as Biscuit, but I was like, no, it, I don't like it. It doesn't look good. So for every single Christmas of Sonic, we have reused the same frame for Biscuit. Yeah, no. I did. I did. Ha- oh. Yeah, I did have to update it though when we moved from 1080p to 4K. But I just literally just traced it. It's the same picture. Every it's time the same picture every time. Either you flipped or. It? I want to see this. Oh, I don't. I don't have it on hand right ah. now, but it's in. The, it's in the videos, though. Okay. Yeah. Every single time I, you see her, I could her. scurry over to my side of the office and grab it, but it might take a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Did I answer your question? Uh, okay? No, that doesn't just answer it. That just, that clears everything else. Like, gosh, that's. Oh <laughs> my goodness! Thank you. Thanks so much for answering my question and for the laugh. Like, of course. No. Now get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's out. Everyone thinks I'm beautiful, Ultimate. Everyone you are knows. very beautiful, Biscuit. Uh, there, yeah, there she is. There she is. Give me four kisses. <laughs> you can see that it's a yeah, and the, yeah, the disgusting because it's it's just it's just the line quality is so different from the other drawings in the pa- in the because uh, it's the same drawing. I love that last panel. Just just one. Or in, in what is it? Uh, in England, biscuits or cookies or something? Or cookies or biscuits? Yeah, or yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> it's true. Alrighty, so I'll pick the next question, go a little bit more towards the bottom, and call someone named Veronica to ask a question about Christmas for Sonic. Hello, welcome. Can you hey. Hello? Yes, hello. We can. What is your question? Hello, what is your cr- hello, what is your Christmas for Sonic question? Hi, uh, first of all, I am a huge fan of the Christmas with Sonic uh, videos you make. Oh, thank you thank so much. Thank you. So my question is, uh, if you don't mind, uh, for Sonic, um, why didn't you ever invite Cream to your Christmas gathering? Uh, we're not doing the character Q anyway. Yeah, now. we're not. Do- we're not doing the character oh, Q and A now. I'm sorry. Is it okay? Definitely if, save that uh, though. We we can save that question for the character Q and A though. Oh, okay. Um, I am so sorry. I thought they were doing it now. Uh, I can uh, wait. Not- yeah. No, okay. Just- yeah. We'll, we'll we'll let we'll let everybody know when they do that character Q and A. Uh, let me try another person here. Uh, let's see. Go back up to the top. I'll call it Mr. Clobber. Hey, okay, hey Robert. Have everyone here? Yep. Oh, mm-hmm. Hey, hey Kevin. Loud and clear. Hey, hey. hey what is your question for Sonic question, Robert? Yeah, so my question for the Christmas with Sonic in particular was... Um, so I think I might have learned a little bit about like the behind-the-scenes process of how long it takes to make one, but... What were some of the scrapped ideas that you had in mind for Christmas with Sonic? Like ideas that you wanted to try out, but for some reason, one way or another, it never made it to 
um, the final product? And what were some of the scrapped ideas that you had that you were really proud of until you were like, oh, I don't know if this is going to work out. So any scrapped ideas that you had in mind? Or oh, so what there's the absolutely no mind? scrapped ideas that we were proud of yeah. because uh, they would have made it. Yeah. Um, there was one we started script that we had three major c- scrapped Christmas of Sonics. Uh, the first one was we wanted to do kind of a European vacation idea where they were all going to meet for Paris um, and Tails, Dad, Sonic, Silver and Manic get lost. Uh, <laughs> if they have to travel throughout Europe. It just wasn't working. Yeah. Um, we just didn't care for it. Um, we had even set it up actually in uh, Christmas with Silver, where uh, Ma- uh, Silver's dad was like an owner of a hotel and oh, stuff like man. that. But we just, it wasn't working. Yeah. So we just scrapped it. Uh, the next one was actually where they all got locked in a mall uh, for Christmas. And it just wasn't, wasn't fun. There wasn't a lot of gags we could do. So we, we canned it. And then the last one was the one that made it the farthest, but we really didn't like it, was, was going to be called Christmas with Shadow. Mm-hmm where they all get stuck in shadows, like highly secure house, like with like traps and, and rockets and bombs and stuff. But we were just like, I think like, like 10 pages and we're like, what the hell does this have to do with Christmas? It wasn't even that. It was just, it was just things were happening and there wasn't a story. Yeah. It just, it wasn't very good. No. So, so, you know, here's the deal. If things get scrapped here at Bailey productions, not just Christmas Sonic, just period, then they're not worth your no. time. Yeah. We, you know, like the winners stay and the losers go. We're, we're not like a, like a big, movie studio that cuts stuff that are good because of like oh focus groups and stuff yeah we, we, we don't cut, we don't put out we stuff cut stuff way. because they don't work yeah exactly so that's really where that comes from yeah there's nothing nothing was close to being finished when scrapped it, it never got past yeah. a couple pages on a, on a script so um yeah that's really that all righty so thank you for that question there robert uh uh, Anne, would you like to call the next person? Uh, how about Super Drew? Hello, welcome. What's your uh, Christmas for Sonic question? Uh, oh, hello. Lowe's was working. Sorry. Yes, <laughs> yes it, it is yes, working. Not, okay. Yeah, uh, I just want to say that I've, I'm a huge fan of Sonic and Jaws. <laughs> Based. Yeah. <laughs> for, yeah, I think, um, I think back then I used to watch Sonic and Jaws growing up as a, as a kid. Now I'm 24 now. And I have a question. So uh, for the script writing, because I'm also like a script writer as well and manga artist. How, how long does it take uh, for you guys to like, you know, work on the script? Usually around a week. A week like maybe, a maybe week. two weeks. We, we, we'll like, we like to write like a first draft of a script. We like to let it rest. Then we go back, we rehearse it, we see what should be changed, and then we'll do a final rehearsal read between the two of us to really get an idea of how it should go. And then when everything works in like it, when it feels good, then, then that's it. We, get to, we just get right to work. Okay, because I'm re- yeah, I remember um, I remember watching the uh, Christmas uh, video of Sonic again, and um, this new character. What was her name again? It, it, it's not Rouge. I know it's not Rouge. To bet uh, Mel. 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 Okay, so this question uh, is: This Mel character gonna have like a super form? Mm, probably not. I I, I don't oh, think I've ever man. ever done Super Sonic in any of my videos. Actually, mm. I just it's oh because oh, my videos are a story and a story always mm-hmm. comes first, you know, before anything I make mm-hmm. videos and animations, you know, like a video game, a super form works because mm-hmm. it's like a gameplay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So like mm-hmm. there's, there's never going to, I don't, I don't have, I mean, maybe in Sonic warriors, will be a supersonic thing, but yeah, Mel being a, a super son, a super form is nothing we've ever mm-hmm. considered ever. Uh, She's just like a traditional vampire bat kind of character. Vampire bat. Okay. So uh, this Mel character, it's in, I am, I'm, inter- I am uh, interested. I, in I, I'm, I'm so sorry to interrupt. <laughs> You have to keep it one question. Oh, sorry. Yep, no worries. Thank, Thank you for your well, question. Well, I apologize. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thanks, Drew. Yeah. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. All righty. Uh, let me go a little bit more towards the middle and call up Hannah. Oops. And I clicked the wrong button by mistake. Uh, would you raise your hand again, Hannah? I'm so sorry. I clicked, by, I clicked the X by accident. There we go. Oh, is it working? There we go. Hey, Hannah. Hey. Welcome, welcome back. Hey. Hello. Um, hello. My question is: What has been the best part of animating uh, Christmas with Sonic, and what was the worst part about animating uh, Christmas with Sonic? Best and worst. 
<laughs> that is a good question. So I think the best part is just seeing everything like our, cause it, when, when stuff is in a script, uh, I'm a very visual person. When stuff is in a script, it feels very abstract. Like it's not, I don't want to go as far as saying it's not real, but once you see it on, on the page or on the canvas rather, and seeing it come to life and the characters interacting and talking, that is so delightful. And really a reason why I like just to draw a period. Um, uh, the, the worst part is crunch, crunch. And the fact that even though we try, we tried every year to not have this happen. My birthday is in December. Uh, and I always end up crunching around my birthday and I never have time to, um, I never have time to do anything fun uh, and we have to postpone stuff, but then we kind of forget. And so having it like land, like it's just the schedule stuff that I don't like, uh, like crunch crunch. It's, uh, and another thing too, when I was in college, cause I did a lot of, of these videos when I was in college, finals week was also in December. So I had my birthday, I had ho the holidays. I had Christmas with Sonic. I had finals week. So I'm just like, ah, <laughs> so, so that's the worst part, <laughs> but yeah, the, at the end of the one? day, it's just, Hmm? Which one was the crunchiest? Ooh, that was uh, Ooh. Christmas with Sonic in Paradise because yes. I was literally editing that video hours before we had to fly to Buffalo. You for, didn't. For you didn't That's sleep for like thirty hours. Twenty six hours. Twenty six hours. I didn't sleep. I was working <laughs> at Christmas. I I was almost delusional. Like the sun was coming <laughs> no. up. I'm I'm like I'm like red in the face, just like tired. And like you were laughing at just random stuff. I think I uploaded it. I'm not even kidding. I think it got uploaded to YouTube and then we went out the door. And yeah. Left. Yeah. It's true. That sucked. And then that video, I, I gotta be honest. I don't like Christmas to Song of Paradise <laughs> because of that. And just, it, I got a lot of bad memories for that one. And then, uh, yeah, somebody actually mentioned the, the, the Patrick coughing, uh, which is in the background of the airport scene in that video. Uh, I, 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 Rihanna forced me to eat something. Yeah, was, she was like, Stephen, you need to eat. Stop like, editing. Let's stop editing and eat and something. And then she said, here, eat this. And she gave me a bowl of cereal. I'm just sitting there eating cereal. And I, a video of Patrick from SpongeBob coughing for 10 hours came up. And I like had like a delusional madman moment where I was like cackling maniacally at him. I threw it in the video. The last, like, yeah. And then we added that. So when they're in the airport security checkout, you hear the, <laughs> in the background. <laughs> And oh, that's, I, no. think, I think that's mm -hmm. it. That's oh. the crunchiest. <laughs> oh, crunchiest. Sorry. Uh, uh, did I answer your question? Okay, Anna. Yes, and I hope you have a good birthday. Uh, happy you. early or belated oh, birthday, Rihanna. Oh, thank you. Happy early birthday. Happy early birthday. Happy happy early birthday. birthday. Just send Rihanna, lots of, send Rihanna <laughs> lots of sugar gliders for her birthday. Yes. All righty. Uh, Anne, would you like to call up the next person? Uh, yes, uh, I like their name, Warpst17. Hello, welcome. Hello, it's actually Worms T 17 but I'll let it slide. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, yeah, no worries. Okay. So, so what is your question about Christmas? That is the one I very. <laughs> yeah, well, these are interesting questions. So, out of all this, having done all these um, Christmas Sonic shorts, and I know you reanimated uh, one sequence from the very first, is there any other stuff from all of them that you felt from you felt like, oh, it would be great to animate that or when you were storyboarding thinking, oh, imagine that being fully done. Is there any any particular one you can say or are you already got something in mind, but you can't say yet? Well, well, I there's there's there are things I'd like to see reanimated. Like, um, actually, if I would have had time and, and the money to do it, I would have loved to have reanimated the the bit from the last one uh, where they go back to the Cretaceous period because Jurassic Park, Sonic and Back to the Future <laughs> are like my life. And so the three mm. of those mixed together was like the ultimate treat. Um, I don't <laughs> know if I'll have time to reanimate anything anytime soon. There's nothing in the cards, but I will say that something kind of related to that is that one day, if we can bring Christmas with Sonic back, if the Patreon is successful, we want to experiment with doing a Rankin Bass style, like the old Rudolph and uh, mm. a year without a Santa Claus style, because it's very possible to be done mm. in Blender. Mm -hmm. So we've, mm -hmm. we've considered like, we'd make the characters look like they were like little figures, like made out of like plastic and, and wood and stuff yeah. and like animate them in that janky stop motion style. We want to try that someday, but that's going to require money and time that like we don't have right now. So, I mean, you know, again, everyone should go spread the word of the Patreon. Maybe we can see it. Yeah. yeah people are posting gifts of it. Yeah. We want to try to make one look like that. <laughs> Especially know? since, uh, which one was it? That was the second Christmas with Sonic where we did 
a Rankin Bass story with Manon. Yeah, we did. And Rudolph. it was in like crayons. And, and, then, and then actually real quick, a uh, little fun thing about that. Uh, there's a line in that where Sonic goes like, what about the forgotten games? And Manon goes, whoops, that was like legitimately us. We forgot about them. Was, so we, and then we, we started cackling going, that's it. That's the story. Forget yeah, that, it. It's done. That's, that's <laughs> getting the script. Yeah. So. Yeah, that that's uh, really yeah. speaking to someone who's done stop frame animation. You know, it is a tricky thing to do, but if you can pull it off yourselves, I would love to see that. Yeah, it'd be cool. It'd yeah, be really cool. Be fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, Merry Christmas, uh, early, yeah, and uh, I look forward Christmas. to hopefully talking to Sony if I come back later. So get her ready. All right. Well, see you then, man. Thank you. All righty. So let me go to the bottom of my list. Uh, I have someone named Breezy who wants to ask questions. Hello, welcome. Hello. Hello. Hey, hey what, what is your question about Christmas for Sonic? Okay. First, big fan. Love the series. Hope it comes back. Um, my big question is, there was an episode, I think it was the third one, where there's a scene where the sound completely cuts out. What exactly happened there? That was YouTube. And that's oh. that's really the answer. Um, it's it's YouTube. Uh, they, they, they bend the knee to corporations and allow uh, copyright claim holders to just mute entire videos. Uh, there's, that's completely out of my control. Uh, if we do reach the minimum uh, of 5,000 a month on Patreon, I'm going to be re-uploading everything that's been copyright claimed, um, censored, mm-hmm. uh, cut down um, on, on the Patreon for free for everyone because mm-hmm. because they allow you to host videos. So um, we, I will re- I will restore those um, muted clips and such um, when the time, when the time comes. Yeah, that was such a tragedy. I had forgotten that that happened the last time I was uh, listening through because I was uh, listening to the whole like Christmas with Sonic playlist while I was drawing at one point. And I was like, well, what happened? Did my is this my headphones? I was like, it was YouTube. Yeah. What did they take from you, Steve? Was it SpongeBob music? <laughs> no, no. It was, yeah, it was the early. So I'm sure a lot of you guys can tell in the early Christmas of Sonics, we used the Ren and Stimpy production music. And unfortunately, corporate oh. greed got in the way. And now they all are copyrighted. So we can't use them anymore, which is a shame because mm-hmm. they were part of that style of the first few. But you know, that's why we're moving to Patreon because we don't have to worry about YouTube's garbage policies anymore. So it's really, really important to, to support there. Did that answer your question okay, Breezy? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, Thank you. All right. Thank you. See you, Breezy. See you. All righty. I'll let you pick the next person, Anne. Uh, how about PJ? Hello. Hello. Welcome. Greetings. What is, Hello. Hey, what is your question about Christmas for Sonic? Uh, hey, big fan. Uh, I just wanted to know that if you were to go back to maybe remaking like maybe the first or whichever parts you've already done of Christmas with Sonic, what would you change? Um, so I could just tell you now that the early writing of those videos is not as good as they could be now. Um, definitely be a lot less mean to Amy. That's for, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know. The overall story would probably stay exactly the same, but we'd probably just change the dialogue. Maybe make Sonic a little more sympathetic because he really came off as mean in the first few. Yeah. Um, but it was also because Rihanna and I come from a time when like, we, we, we both experienced one of the things that we actually bonded over when we originally got together was how, you know, Sonic used to be really, really good. Now Sonic's really, really <laughs> bad. You know, this was around the time when like stuff like 06 and Secret Rings and all that were like fresh in our minds. So we were just still very bitter about Sonic and we kind of, portrayed that through Sonic. But obviously, as you've seen, as the series has gone on, Sonic has become a lot more like himself and a lot more um, like he's still cocky. Yeah, yeah, character development, exactly. So if we were to redo the first Christmas of Sonic, if if I was to do it like in 3D and Blender and stuff, I would probably, we'd probably mellow Sonic out a little bit, but we'd also keep it funny. And then, yeah, we would definitely not be as mean to Amy because we know that a lot of people got really upset about that. And it was just, we didn't think anything of it. We were just having fun. But if if it like hurts people's feelings like that, then we don't want to to do I mean, that we was, want everyone to just have a good time it was pretty funny <laughs> oh it's funny it it's, don't get me wrong yeah. it's funny also, but also know. the sense of humor back then was a, a lot different there was a lot more uh, emphasis on like slapstick and yeah. stuff but in yeah. modern sensibilities for humor have, have changed quite a bit yeah absolutely but you know that christmas with sonic reanimated uh that i did uh, in 3d is a, it's basically a good peak of what it would be like uh if, if i was to redo it in blender that answer your question okay pj yeah the art uh, thank you, guys. I hope you guys have a good one. Yeah, take care, man. All right. So let me go to the middle here. I will call up uh, Groundhog. I think Hello, the reanimated welcome. script was already a little oh, gentle. Oh, there he is. Hello, welcome. I need to meet him. Hello. 
Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, so what is, what is your question about Christmas for Sonic, Groundhog? My question is if um if Chris, if Christmas with Sonic will come back, like will it be like in 3D or like will it be just be like in panel? So we, if we do another one, it's going to go right back to the old style of uh, storyboard. Um, but we would not be afraid to experiment with future episodes. Like I said, the Rankin Bass idea, um, you know, depending on how things go, maybe we could do a shorter one that's 3D. But uh, we were even considering one time doing a, a community Christmas with Sonic, like let the, the viewers draw the panels to kind of come together as a community. But the only ethical problem with that is that then Pete, the criticism will be all oh, your, so you're letting your fans do all the work for you. So we don't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There's a lot of different ways we could experiment with Christmas with Sonic. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Um, thank you. Um, have a great day, everyone. Yeah, you, you too. too. You too. All right. So thank you for that question. Uh, uh, Groundhog. Uh, and I'll let you call up the next person. How about we call up Chris? Hello. Can you guys hey, hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hi, Chris. Well, All right. This is something that's been on my mind since you brought up the uh, possibly bringing back Christmas with Sonic. Will there be other characters you may bring back besides the original cast? I mean, it all depends on the context of the story. Mm -hmm. um, we are all about like, you know, uh, characters shouldn't be in a story if they don't have a purpose. We don't do fan service of that's like so shallow like that, you know, uh, bringing characters in for the sake of bringing them in would be like, you know, like a Funko Pop kind of thing. Like it's just <laughs> a bunch of mindless garbage where when we bring in a character or reintroduce a character, they have to have a reason to be there like you know sonic's dad was obviously got his own episode because that that was the context of the story you know a lot of people want cream but it's like cream would be with her mom on christmas that yeah. kind of thing and it's also that's a lot true. more characters to draw so <laughs> really what it comes down to is characters get added if they have a means to be in the story because otherwise they're not going to be the real characters that you know it's it's, it's kind of like how with sonic with, with tails mom we just we always make her just leave because like well what are we going to do with her there's nothing yeah, there to, there's nothing that. there to be done so yeah you know characters coming back all depends on the context of the story and what stories will be we don't know we only so far we just got the idea of the rudolph con in case things go well with the patreon and we can bring mm. it back well i'm definitely looking forward to that thank you for answering my question no problem mo Mel cameo, Mel cameo. We can oh, dream. I, 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 I want to. I let me let me just say this now. Um, if, if, if Sonic Revolution happens and we get a panel like in person, we're kind of concocting a fun panel idea um, called Christmas with Mel. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I will say this: um, if we could get Sydney and you, uh, KN, and a few others. We want to do an in-person event um, that is going to be real fun at Sonic Revolution uh, if it happens. Steve, I, I just got a, a brain. Steve, I just got a brain thing. Soras and Mel in the same skit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what will happen? Yeah, who knows? I mean, you you never know, guys. Uh -oh. Soras and Soras like will return. That. Yes, he, he does, does he but does. he likes candy more, and, and Mel uh, collects uh, gems and geodes. Ooh. So. Girl, well, I gotta yeah, warn you. Yeah. He was he was my ex, so I've got some things I gotta warn you about. Oh Come wait, on, no. This... What about friends with benefits? Give me your candy. It's <laughs> got spicy really quick. Besides now I'm with my new mommy and daddy. <laughs> Mommy's not here though. Oh, daddy is though. Help me. Someone please help me. <laughs> Little brother, got... let's jump on the bed no. and break it again. <laughs> I almost got expelled because of you. Come on, I ate all your pencils. <laughs> Scandalous. <laughs> he said it, he said the line. <laughs> oh, gosh, all right. Well, let me go to the bottom of my left here and call up Olivia. Hey, Olivia, welcome back. And you muted. Hello. Hello. Hi. What did you do for a question? Um... Well, my question is for both KN and Steve. Did you have a favorite part about performing in Christmas with Sonic? The bleh, performing in Christmas with Sonic series. If so, what would it be and why? Uh, favorite favorite performance moment. Yeah, go. You uh, yeah. go. You go, KN. 
goodness. You know, it's hard to think of my favorite performances from me because whenever I watch them, I'm so busy enjoying everybody else's work. <laughs> so I'm, I'm drawing a complete blank about myself. I can, I can tell you what my favorite thing you ever did in Christmas <laughs> Sonic was. Which one? The part where Tails is delivering the presents and Juliet, the fangirl, is stalking him in the dark. <laughs> Uh, and then like, you're like, start the sleigh, start the sleigh. you like that. I rewind that part every <laughs> single time. That's so funny. Just, just this, uh, that <laughs> idea of you just like, like panicking. It's so <laughs> good. Um, I guess as far as mine goes, uh, I don't really have like a favorite performance part. I guess, I guess, dang. Yeah. I'm, I'm drawing blanks too. Uh, maybe it's just. Hard. It's so good. It's, it's hard because so many things have happened, but I and guess it was when I was crying years. as biscuit when she in the in reunion when uh when she's like, No, the biscuit got cold. Like, you know, like it was hard for me to do that with a straight face. But yeah, um I also want to mention uh so Kim, who's not here, uh she's the voice of Juliet, uh the the, the fangirl in Christmas <laughs> with Sonic, and um there's that part where she's laying on the ground, she goes like Ooh! <laughs> and the funny part is that we were already dying laughing about that. But the fact is, is that someone at Sega on the Sonic account commented on the video. So Sega has seen <laughs> that performance of, of Kim. So I love the idea of let's just like all like the people at Sega get around and watch Christmas with Sonic every year. It's just like a hope of mine. So yeah, favorite performance would definitely be just, yeah, just screaming his biscuit, I guess. That is a good one. I think I would have, I would have leaned on because everything is really good. Just in general, like manic is so freaking cute. Sonic's just got such an excellent personality as he keeps going. His attitude's there. But once he like cheers up, there's like such a good balance there. Uh, and Eggman and his entire family are freaking funny. <laughs> <laughs> Did I answer your question, okay, Olivia? Uh, yeah, I'm actually crying because um, you guys are amazing. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you. Well, thank you for coming, Olivia, and thank you for your question. So, Anne, I'll call up. I'll uh, I'll let you call up the next person. Uh, how about Bruno? Hello, welcome. Hey, yo. Uh, hold on. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hi. What are you hi, guys. Oh, uh, right. First of all, I got, I got, I'm a huge fan of all of you all. I'm a huge fan. I cannot believe it's been going through all these years, especially with you, Belina and Kian, for all the series of as the, of the scared and stupid and and Kian. I appreciate it. You'll go that far with the 58th episode of As the Sonic Heroes. Thank you. Uh, what is your question for? Okay, I got uh, a tons of questions? questions for Steve and Kayen, so I won't take. It's gonna be long, but I'm a huge. I'm a huge fan for all y'all. But here goes with Steve Productions. For Steve, I mean Belina Productions. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk too much. Okay, I'm 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 so excited and nervous. <laughs> yeah, so, so what is okay, your question? Okay, here goes. Okay, here here goes for Steve's. What happens with for for Christmas with Sonic if they do a a crossover episode with Angry Birds or Mario Bros, which features the voice of the YouTuber called Slick Frame from YouTube. I don't know what would happen because it hasn't happened. Um, I don't think we would ever be able to do that. Um, but uh, I, I'm glad you're enthusiastic about that idea. But I, I, yeah, that is like a I have no idea what would happen. All right. Well, we'll m move along then. Uh, I'm going to go back up to the top here and call up uh, Duck. Hello, welcome. Hey, hey. So what, you, Hello, what, you, Doc. what did your question uh, about? Uh, question for Sonic. My question was, honestly, it got a lot of got answered. Hey, I actually forgot it. God damn it. Uh, can okay. I go down for a second to think about it? Yeah, sure. Thanks. All right, let me try another person. I'll try uh, Kite562. Uh, kite Hello, welcome. Hello. Hey, what is your question about Christmas for Sonic? Well, I was just wondering, um, was there any like concept drawings for the panels of Christmas with Sonic? You know, the, you know, concept art before you came up with the final versions? Actually, there was like 
one we have like one thing, uh, and it actually ended up in the video. Um, before we did Christmas with Sonic, like when we were brainstorming it, we drew a couple of things, um, and one of them was Sonic as a baby in a high chair with like food all over his face that was supposed to be on like the projector when they're embarrassing Sonic in front of the family. That picture of Sonic in the high chair is the concept art. We just slapped mm -hmm. it in there. Yeah, the the production for these videos are so tight that we don't really have a lot of time for concept art. <laughs> Um, sometimes I will, I, I know for the, sl the time machine slide, what, what was it called? Steve? The, 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 the fusion slides. Yeah. I actually built a, a, a model of it in SketchUp because I knew I was going to have to draw it a bunch of times. And, uh, that kind of, I guess it's kind of its own concept art cause it's a 3d model and Steve uh, helped me uh, design it. Um, when I was just kind of mushing up a, a model of a sleigh and the, DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future into um, that sleigh. So mm -hmm. that's kind of a concept art. But other than that, it's literally just whatever new has to be designed, I just throw it in, yeah. which is not it's common. not a lot of pre-production time on Christmas. No, like script, voices, drawing. We have to dive in feet yeah. first. <laughs> okay, good to know. Good to know. All righty, so thank you for that question there, Kai. Uh, and I'll let you call up the next person. Uh, let's call up Cutie Cat. Oh, Cutie Cat? Hello. Oh. oh, oh, there you are. Okay, I thought okay. you at the bottom there. Yeah, you got it. What's, what's your question? All right. One sec. I'm trying not. I'm trying to. Okay, sorry, sorry. Hello and welcome. I'm trying not, trying not to fangirl. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Hey, my. Okay, my qu my question is. My my question is is to all of you, what. What has been your favorite reference in the in the whole Christmas with Sonic series? Let's let Alex answer one for once. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, favorite reference? Like yes. um like from like, like the Sonic games? Or like like any kind of just, any just overall references, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, overall references. Like how we had you have Godzilla like get the toy. Thing, I mean, probably, right? I don't want to speak for you, Alex, but I did use the Jaws poster for <laughs> for Paradise. Oh, or oh, we yeah. actually drew oh. Alex. Oh, yeah. like, in the title yeah. card. Oh, it's you know true. what? I will say. First off, I'm so sorry if I've been quiet and awkward. I I've been squeezing like a little like squeeze ball toy, and like it popped. And like, there's just like slime no. all over. I have no nothing to like. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. You've been slimming. I've been like, oh, no. I have like no paper towels, and I've been like sitting here. I think it's when Ted was was acting like a like a menace, and he he stressed me out. Um, anyway, I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, by default. Um, that was like anyways, best. Best. <laughs> <laughs> I will say. <laughs> this is um, it, it kind of a selfish answer, but I will say something that I, I did not expect, but I think it was uh, Christmas with Silver. It was one of the, the title cards where uh, for the opening credits where Silver was dusting his, his house. And um, in the background, there was a it was a figure like a bunch of Godzilla figures. And one was uh, King Caesar from Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla, which was such a I thought would be like a deep cut. Like I would not expect Rihanna to like draw that. And, and that like. Made me so giddy. So I'm going to say that one. That's my favorite reference. I'm so glad, Alex. <laughs> Does anyone, can anyone grab the t the title card of Silver dusting his room for, for, so everyone can see? Where yeah, are you I guys guess. even seeing this? I don't even know where the two are. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's in our Alex. show discussion. Oh. Yes, Mr. Swell. That's why I opened two different Discord channels. <laughs> I am such a fool. I don't know what's we happening. <laughs> on the stage, and then I've got the chat open in a separate yeah, That's like, smart. <laughs> You now Silver's going to have to dust off that, the There it is. There it is. <laughs> uh, Duck beat me to it. By the way, we will return to that little uh, area in Scared Stupid 4, but fully realized oh. in 3D. I'll make sure that there's a King Caesar. Uh, and stuff. But anyway, uh, we should, uh, Ted, what is your favorite reference uh, in, the, in the whole thing? Um, I Besides like the reference you. of... I was going to say that is... <laughs> I like the, the Tales dad uh, that is just like... Hmm... I was gonna do the cop out answer of like you know a ha ha tails dad is me, but I I don't know if this really like counts as a reference. But I just love when the whole part in Christmas with Silver with uh, Alex and the live action thing, just seeing everything oh, he did. Oh in that. Gosh, that's so that was amazing. when Alex said. I'm gonna say that's a reference to Alex, and I like oh, that. Man. I was cackling so bad, and then Alex goes, "I think this shirt's for like women, but." Eh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It that totally was. was. I love that. <laughs> that was like so it was funny. Silver's color scheme, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. Amazing. 
I, I gotta admit, I haven't watched. I haven't. I haven't watched much of Christmas with Sonic. Well, go before going to this. That's oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's yeah. the best time of the year to do it. Yeah. Can I actually have? I have yeah, a confession to make too. There's a couple that I haven't seen yet either. Um, that I've been, okay. I haven't seen. <laughs> That's fine. So, I'm 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 a I'm a I'm a big fan of Sonic's Get Stupid though. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, that's that's pretty based. That's very very based poggers of you. <laughs> oh. Based poggers. <laughs> it's so based poggers of you. That that's what Sonic would say these days, right? <laughs> God, I hope so. Rude that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, that's it. it. I disown you, son. You're gone. That's it. Okay. I think is there any <laughs> is there any other references for anybody or? Uh, I'm too dumb, just the time man. Machine. I don't oh, understand. Look at that. There he is. Yep, there is. <laughs> References very well. Oh, so handsome. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my. Michael. Did, did I answer everything okay, cutie cat? Yes. Yes, it does. Have a nice day. And literally to all of you, have have a great day. And I hope I hope Jan goes well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. much. Take care. Have a good night. Okay, so if anybody ever like draws or animates over uh, squeezing and popping one of the trap ball thing, I got it. Yeah, yeah, it's not on the Please don't. This, yeah, this is not. very no. This is very embarrassing for me. Like you no. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, a big show. Like your first so. time ever appearing in like like a panel about Christmas and Sonic. And you go, oh, poopsie! I pop my stress. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, Ted made me so mad. Mean. You see, why you fall? You really does. Ted does me. Everybody mad. <laughs> <laughs> so, Steve, what, uh, how many more questions would you like to take before character uh, Q and A? We should get to the to the character Q and A now. I think it's time to open that up to everybody. Um, I would just like to let everyone know that Rihanna's a bit uh, gun shy when it comes to voiceover. So, no questions, unfortunately, for Sonia, Alina, and Charmy. If you want to ask them a question, Rihanna will ask uh, a- a- answer on their behalf. Yeah. Though, yeah. The problem is, is that whenever I do uh, lines <laughs> for Christmas with Sonic, Steve has to grab me. By the throat and shake me and goes. You I will give you a act. reference. It takes me about three hours to do every single character in one script. It takes Rihanna to do one character, so she's yeah. she's not I, a, a proper voice. I, actor I'm not good at voice. acting on demand. <laughs> I have to have Steve shake me in the voice booth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we should do the character Q and A now. Yeah. Right? I, I wanted to ask if we okay. want to get to Duck's question real quick. Because he had a question, and I, I think he forgot yeah, we forgot yeah, the last uh, question. Oh, yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah, that would that, that, be very good. Yeah. So, so Doc, uh, you'll be the last uh, Sonic and uh, 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 yeah. Uh, hey, so what's your uh, if you guys, if you moved on while me, it would have been fine. But actually, Steve, this one I actually only thought about like, which I got distracted, popped out of my head. Like, how did you get Alejandro on board? Because I only learned about when I learned about him years Ooh. later that Gaggy was in it. And I'm like, wait, is that him? And it just popped you know, my head. I got him right before he got his big break. Um, I was uh, so my voice of Shadow and Knuckles vanished out of the clear blue sky. It's true. And um, so I put out an open audition. I said we're looking for uh, Shadow, and uh, Kagi sent me his audition, and it was the best uh, a Shadow voice I've ever heard in this fan base. And I was like, you you really want to be Shadow? He's like, yeah, I love your videos. And so then eventually I asked him to be Knuckles. And yeah, he still does it to this day. I'm mm-hmm. extremely lucky to have him. And not just him, just all my voice actors. I'm extremely lucky yeah. to have them. So, uh, oh, yeah, Alex just posted <laughs> stressful. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that, that's, it was just a matter of him auditioning. And that's, yeah. that's that. Yeah. Also, Alex, I can understand the pain of that. Legit, when I was a kid, I had like an angry bird one. It screeched all over my mom's clothes and I got grounded for a week. So I can understand your oh, pain. No. Oh, dude, yeah, I'm going to get grounded so hard. It's, this sucks. Uh, thank you for having me on. Y'all have fun. Everyone enjoy the Q and A, and I gotta go. Y'all have fun. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> not only did you say I'm gonna get crazy, you said this sucks. <laughs> like when your mom finds out, she's gonna be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. Um, but, no uh, happy meal for a week, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> no toy. No. no. <laughs> I just wanted to buy a like, toy from a bug's life. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Christmas for eight to leave. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> um, also, I, hold on. I, I'm sorry. I was just like, I was busy uh, uh, being an idiot. Uh, thank you to, uh, was it Doc who was in here? I, now I'm in yeah, a different chat. Doc. Okay, I'm in a different chat. Thank you, Doc. All righty. So, uh, hey, Veronica, could you raise your hand again? Because I, I wanted to get your question, Bert, because you had a question, but we had to wait. There we go. Wait for her to come. Hey, Veronica, there, could, there could you is. ask your character a question again? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to have to change my question. So, a question for Silver. Um, ever since your trailer fell down off a cliff, where do you live now? I live in a cardboard box. <laughs> is everyone okay? Not really, no. <laughs> How about your cat? <laughs> Silver, I keep telling you you can stay with me. He just doesn't want to be a burden. Oh yeah. I have a big boss his balls. <laughs> Manic. That's awkward. Could I wage? <laughs> I'm trying not to cry, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, Silver. It's the only stress ball he had. I know what I'm getting you for Christmas. And a bigger box. Blaze is gonna give Silver some balls. Uh. Manic? Uh, You're so what? dirty. Just stress balls. <laughs> well, when I mean, when I get stressed, my balls pop too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cover your ears, Gucci Silver. I'm gonna oh, call your good. mom. <laughs> uh, I forgot one fragment. So, how would you painlessly destroy Sonic next time you take over the world? Well, I guess I could just let him live in America. If he gets in, if he gets injured, then it'll be painless to watch him just get his medical bills. <laughs> How cool! Just <laughs> one ride in the ambulance, and Sonic is done for. Oh no! Topical, dude. That is that's so messed up, Eggman. Hey, that is that is that is so painless and cruel. I am. Would you like to call the next? I just blew him. <laughs> it is true. My leg fell off. Tails, let's go. Ah oh, snap, man! Uh, get your leg and get in the plane, buddy. <laughs> Goku, how about you come and speak? Oh, is that the hi. Real Goku? I was yeah. in the middle of drawing yeah. and I got called. Hi. What's your character question? Yes, I guess I am ready for my question. So, since this is about Christmas with Sonic, so I'm really curious to know which is your best character and which is your worst character that you think took part of took part of the series this hmm. is uh you're asking the characters section oh i misunderstood <laughs> my bad quick That's sonic okay. who do you like the best it's me right <laughs> uh well i mean considering you make the best eggs i've ever had absolutely carefully. yeah okay. i was gonna say i think the worst character though uh would probably be that cousin ned guy he wanted to eat us that was kind of weird oh yeah what happened to him What's I don't want to know. You yeah. don't like a taste, no. get it. Father, you summoned him. I will not forgive you. <laughs> what? I, uh, uh, um, I'm going to go First, away. First, I have to Bye. protect you. Hold on. Don't touch I, I, my yeah, dad. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I'm going to go over to Sam's. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, we should mention these are questions directed to the characters themselves for everybody. Alrighty, let me go to let me go to the bottom and oh, oh okay, there we go. Uh, let me go to the bottom and I'll call up Gab to ask a question to one of the characters. Oh, Gabs, I think I know them. Hello, everyone. Whoa, Hello, it's Gabs. Gabs. Hello. 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 Yeah. Hello. <laughs> this is Hi, my name is Blaze. Silver. I'm a big fan. This, this is a question for Silver. So. I wanted to know what's up between you and Blaze. Oh, oh spicy! Oh, um, yeah, uh, Blaze is pretty cool. Um, I like her hair, and and I, I think her powers are really cool. Like she could play around the Himalayas for hours and be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Blaze, uh, could you pop your stress balls again? <laughs> Enough um, with that, okay? Jeez, balls, man. Maybe Blaze feels the same. I don't know. 
Manic, leave Silver alone. He is Silver. No, no, no. Uh, well, I think Silver would have a vastly more difficult time uh, zipping around the Bahamas. He would probably get overheated. Um, but yes, Silver is a very dear friend of mine, and he needs to get a bigger box. Yeah, uh, we we stood next to each other like a couple times, and so we're pretty much married at this point. <laughs> ma- ma- married. Oh, this is that's how it works in Canada. Fast. Marriage, no way. <laughs> that's that's what I said one time. Wow. Son, did I ever tell you I saw you met your mother? We just stood next to each other and you became married. <laughs> that's incredible. Canadian law, you know. Well, that's how come I spend a lot of time running away from certain people because I don't want to get married. I'm not ready. Yes. <laughs> Never stop running, son. Never stop running for the love of gosh, please. <laughs> Oh, thank you for your question, Gab. Thank you. Thank you, Bye, Gabs. Gabs. Bye. Bye. Oh, I didn't run Gabs fast enough. I'm the only one here who... Well, actually, I guess Alina has an ex. I don't want to talk Unfortunate. about it. Unfortunate. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it either. <laughs> I want to talk about it. I want to talk about him six feet in the ground. <laughs> okay. Tell him what you'd like to call it the next person. Uh, someone also asks, is it okay if it's limited to only questions about the series? No, it can, it's just for the characters, so it could be from, like, Scared Stupid, Sonic or Jaws, whatever the heck you want to do. Yeah. Uh, clarification on that. No Sonic Zombies, uh, though, please. I'm begging you. Yeah. No yeah, Sonic. Yeah, so thank you for clarifying that. Dave, uh, yeah, go ahead, Dan. Uh, pick next uh, how about Star? Are, are you there? Sorry, if it, Star uh, AFK. Anybody home? Uh-oh. I think McFly. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, there may be a way. So uh, try, try somebody else, Dan. Okay, cool. Just let me try my luck with someone else. Arts of Ace. Is- it's so mad when they come back. Oh, oh. Ace. There's Ace. Hey. Hey, Ace. Oh, and there's Star. Hola. Hola. So hey, I got a question from Manic. Yeah, so <laughs> if, you, if you had to choose for the rest of your life, only eating Lunchables or Kids Cuisine, which would it be? Oh man, that's a tough question. Cause like, you know, like Lunchables mm. tastes like dog food and then kids cuisine's got like frozen mac and cheese. Oh man, it's so hard. Well, okay. So here's like my trick answer. <laughs> uh, I would pick Lunchables, but it can't be the bootleg Lunchables that doesn't have like the candy bar and the Capri Sun. Cause that's like a full course meal, you know? So I definitely would like to eat ham that came from another planet. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. Hey, hey, thank you. Oh, oh, there he goes into the abyss, man. <laughs> oh, no. I hope he's okay. <laughs> no worries. The technology just killed him. It's probably Eggman's fault. <gasps> I don't that like that ace you know, and, and fairness, the piece of Lunchable for the one that we wanted both. Yeah. That's right. stack true. them up. They're pretty fun. We didn't have them in Canada, though. We had these things called little Schneider's things. And no, well, never mind. <laughs> Gabs drew another great little <laughs> oh, no. I love it. Alright, uh, let me go to the middle and call up uh what is it? Rick? Uh I forgot the name cut off a railroad something. Sorry. Hello. 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 Do you guys Hello. can hear me? Yep. Loud and clear. What did you call right. to one of the characters? Alright, I got a question for Sonic and Tails. What happened to Mr. Breen after the events of Jaws? Have you seen him again or something like that? Well, Mayor Breen is still mayor of Station Square. Uh, you're going to probably see him soon in our next uh, movie, Scared Stupid 4. We, you might see him a little cameo there. Uh, I don't know how Tails can answer that any better. I mean, what do you think, Yeah, Tails? pretty much. I mean, when he needs something, he calls. But I think we're. I think it's probably a good sign that we haven't gotten constant calls from him. We got a Christmas card from him like a couple years ago. <laughs> yeah, it was hard to read because he had that like Sean Connery kind of like like speech in pen or whatever. He wrote it out like in lettering. So it was a yeah, little challenging. Yeah, he said Seanic, so it was really weird. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, as far as we know, he's in good health and we may be seeing him again soon. So uh, stay tuned. And make sure you take care of yourself, Railroad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> of course. Thank you for, uh, Taking my question. <laughs> Wait, is that Mayor Breen? Can you do a backflip? <laughs> yeah, oh, I should can. <laughs> Young shut. Yeah, don't encourage him. He's getting old. <laughs> but it's cool. Yeah, but I want to see it. 
<laughs> yeah, if he does a backflip, he'll break his back. <laughs> ah, I wish you like caught the next person. <laughs> uh, yes, Mr. Scoot. Scoot. Oh, there you are. Hi, hey, Scoot. Hello. Hey. Hello. hello. What's your question? Oh, hello? Scoot? Uh-oh. Are you on push to talk? Is your mic not working? We can fix it. Let's go. Nope. Let's try this. Global struggles. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. I'm on. See if that works. Is it working? Yeah. Yes, we did it. I hear you now. Hey, so what's your question? It does this. You guys, so every time my phone does this, I'm using my phone. You had to do it twice. So, yeah. Yeah, it works. Anyway, what's your question to, to, to the characters? All right, hold on. I got to get you on the speaker. All right, so my question is actually for... So my question is for Manic and Tells. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up, bro? Hi, Mr. Scoot. All right, so my question is, what is your guys' favorite music genre? Oh, hair metal, man. And then I also really like the music from, like, uh, like what is it, uh, Hello Kitty and Bluey? Like, uh, it's, it's like, really rocking. So, yeah, but, dude, like, you know, Motley Crue, like, Aerosmith, Silver Extreme. I love it, man. You know, I, the more guitars, the better. Hmm. You know what? I think I just like musical theater in general. Most of the time, I'm actually listening to instrumental songs from, like, movies and stuff because it's easier for me to concentrate on stuff in my workshop when, uh, when it doesn't have vocals. I think that the last thing that I listened that was, like, a, a musical was uh i think it was chicago uh that's not a really good uh musical to have stuck in your head when you're grocery shopping though yeah tails was singing shapoopy for like an hour the other day from the music man uh it happens man (laughs) was that what that was (laughs) (laughs) you know sometimes it's hard to carry a tune give me a break man i mean dad (laughs) <laughs> Dad. I got you, homie. I ain't judging. Oh, Uh-oh. get him out of the house, Tails. <laughs> Look, as long as they're not people. New Year's jokes, it's all right. I can take uh, anything else. Up, don't you worry. Yeah, no. we're like a couple weeks away. <laughs> no, this man named me a pun. That tells oh. you everything you need oh, to know. No, it's true. It's, it's, it's true. Listen, I'm most your mother agreed, concept. so blame her. She was impaired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you're around me. Sorry. All righty. Let me go to the bottom of my left and call up uh, Rosebud 1992. Real quick after Rosebud, yes. we could try Rosebud Star again. Peas. Because yeah, Star said they were Welcome on back. mobile. So it might have been the same problem Mr. Hello. Scoot had. Hello, Hello Rosebud. Hey. Hello, I'm a Rosebud. little nervous, so I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> As long as you're not a bag of peas, you'll be fine. Um, do you have any questions that you plan on making for Christmas? And who is that question for? Tails. Oh, today. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear the start of your question. What was it? Uh, do you have any plans to make any inventions for Christmas? Oh, man. Christmas is a hard time for inventing. Uh, I usually, well, I guess you can see why. There's a whole series about what I'm usually up to. Um, I think I'd like to make some updates to the, uh, to the sleigh that we used in the last one, because, I don't know, that was some high-tech technology, and there's a lot of, uh, possibilities for using it, except for one thing. I made that as kind of like, uh, it was a joint project under pressure with Dr. Eggman, and, uh, I think I would need his help to keep making like uh advancements on it and i'm not sure if i want to do that with my christmas might, so. <laughs> might not be a best idea to do that unless it's christmas day because remember he doesn't kill me on christmas day because then he'll go back in time and undo everything wait i have a suggestion uh can you maybe start with seat belts <laughs> hmm. <laughs> i'll think about it i'll think about it because yeah a baby totally fell out the back of one of them oh. so Good I thinking, Silver. Good thinking. I, I, I totally. Oh, oh, you're talking about Bubby. Sorry. Um, oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> you yeah, we gotta get Silver a car seat for that thing. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe he could pop his little uh, pressure balls in there instead. <laughs> get it all over the over the sleigh. I mean, let's like, go back in holder. time and stop him from popping his pressure balls. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, Bubby fell out the back. And- Silver jumped out uh, in in a moment of heroism. But yeah, maybe uh, maybe a, maybe seatbelts. 
Um, and maybe like a better windshield because I got a bug in my eye and it was awful. I didn't say anything because we had work to do and then there were dinosaurs. But yeah, maybe oh, we should get a cup holder for Tails Dad's coffee, too, because he's yeah, spilled it all one, please. It, it was hot. Oh, yeah, that, too. Oh, Good boy. Thing. I had a, I, a, great I had a whole pet four pack. <laughs> and oh. a Timbit holder. Oh, absolutely. Please. But then we'll get crumbs all over the question. You're welcome, Rosebud. Have a Merry Christmas. And enjoy Bye. your frozen peas. Uh, there there uh, she goes. Yep. All right. So thank you for that question, uh, Rosebud. Uh, so, Anne, I'll let you call up the next person. Uh, Star did send in their uh, question in the form of a text question. So I'll go ahead and read it out. So from Star, it, their question was to Manic. Would you like to join your brother sometimes for his adventures? Uh, I would love to join Sonic for his ventures, but here's the problem, okay? Like, I'm a famous Twitch streamer, so, like, every night I am streaming, like, Ark Survival Evolved, trying to tame dinosaurs. And then last time I tried to keep up with Sonic, um, he just kind of, like, left me behind. I had to, like, hitchhike from Mexico back home, and Mom grounded me. So, like, I think I'm grounded until Sonic, like, dies or something. So, it'd be cool, but I, I, I don't know, man. I'm, like, too busy for our own stuff. <laughs> Real nice, Manic. Real nice. It's hard when you've got a Twitch stream schedule to keep up. People are expecting. That's what I'm saying. I have to get in the hot tub in like five minutes to be on stream, you know? Oh, you know what? I didn't know you did those kinds of streams. <laughs> I do like twerking for like five dollars a pop, you know? Is there is is there a link that uh where's the link to this? <laughs> oh, it's, it's, called Manic. it's called spankmanic.com, you know? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alina, um, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to give you the link to this. I think he's got to get double grounded. <laughs> the stuff these kids do. <laughs> just goes A.O. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you like a sugar cookie? <laughs> would you like Manix uh, OnlyFans? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Thanks for becoming one, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Oh, uh, I don't feel so good around cookies anymore. I don't. Uh, I don't trust them. Ew. <laughs> 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 or are you uh, dying? First content. First content. Uh oh. Only my fans can be there. You know. <laughs> Yes, Gabs, when Silver says ew, it is the best, especially in Christmas and Sonic Reunion when Man or Vector blows his nose. <laughs> says, ew! It's so good. Aw, thanks. <laughs> oh, don't no. break your balls. <laughs> oh, is that when he's traveling back in time? Yes. Oh, <laughs> so, so, Gabs. <laughs> oh, I love that. He's amazing. All right, do we have our next question? <laughs> yeah, I think it's your turn to see you, Dan. Oh, I, it was yours, t Kevin. It's yours. Oh, it's mine. Uh, uh, Kelp, Kelp had a question. I'll call, call him up. Oh, Emmy's in the chat. Hi, Emmy. Hello, hello Emmy. Hi, Emmy. Well, uh, hello, hello, hello there. Hello. Hello. Uh, so this just kind of ties in. Are we still allowed to ask questions just to you guys in general, or does it have to be in character at this point? I like mean, we're that's in the a, uh, be, character section. Yeah, we're in the character yeah. question, but um, perhaps perhaps you can you can make it in the form of a question for the character. Okay, I was just wondering because I, I would have been here sooner for the general Q and A, but I was at the movie, so I just got back anyway. Um, I guess I'll ask my character question then. Um, so uh, to Silver, what are your thoughts on maple syrup and or pancakes? Asking for a friend. Oh, you know what? Um, hmm. I think I like waffles better. Oh no, everyone's going to bring up the do you like waffles video now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, me and Silver like to go for some chicken and waffles once in a while. It's real good stuff. Uh, very important question, though, I believe that needs to be specified. Are we talking real maple syrup here? Are we talking that sugar stuff? This is a very, very key difference. Is it real maple syrup? Uh, Ignore the Canadian fox with the gun pointed to your back. <laughs> I swear to God, I, I don't even <laughs> have another stress ball. They're real deal. They're real deal. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it, though, right? He really likes waffles. No. <laughs> yeah, I like waffles. I'm on okay. team pancake, I except see. I really like both. 
like a really solid Belgian waffle. That's freaking delicious. But I'm on team pancakes. Team French toast over here. Oh, man. yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, toast. yeah, French toast. That's right. French With toast is, as you know, pretty healthy for you. So it's, it's, it's a, a healthy. Good I mean, I know I've been on the Tails Dad diet for about a year now on this uh, French toasting. You have French toast every single meal of the day, and I haven't gained a pound. Well, in fact, I mean, you're not supposed the to have the whole loaf. pounds of gain. Yeah, that's right. Whole loaf of bread, 16 yeah. eggs. Oh, it's so good. I, I saw you dunking the whole loaf in there, and I thought, you know what? That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, thanks for answering my question. Uh, I will take my leave. Also, nice thank to you. finally meet you, Belena. Been a yeah, you too, man. Have a great rest a of your night. Uh, oh, thank you. Wait, anyway. I have a question for this this person. Oh, uh, what did you see at the movie? Did you see Godzilla minus one? <laughs> yes, I did. It was fantastic. Oh, oh based <laughs> my man. It was so. It might be my best my best film of the year that I I've like seen. This guy. All right. It's fantastic. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you guys have a good rest of your panel. I will take my leave and just watch from the sidelines. So you Thank you. Bye-bye. All righty. So, uh, and now, now it's your turn, Anne. Yeah, now it's my turn. Uh, how about MC Voices? You there? Oh, hi. Hello there. First of all, before I answer my question, I just want to say it's a great minute, honor to meet you all. Christmas of Sonic is one of my favorite series. It's definitely yeah, one of my thank inspirations. You. Appreciate so it. So my question thank is you. actually for my question actually is for Manic. When Seems you're to be Mr. The, Popular uh, tonight. Yeah. When you're That's up at the North boy. Pole with all the well, when you're up at the North Pole in the most recent adventure, did you get to actually meet Rudolph? No, nah, so like here's the problem. It's like, you know, Rudolph, uh, he's like more like like it's like a, it's like it's like fake. It's not like Santa Claus is real. Like, Rudolph's not real. He's like a guy, he's like an actor. But someday I hope I can meet him. And I really hope he's a really nice guy. I hope he's not like one of those like, you know, people that are like like jerks behind the screen. But hey, maybe that's like alluding to like maybe our next time we meet up or something. I don't know, man. Never meet your your hero's kid. <laughs> well, well, he's oh. not my hero, he's my idol. It's different. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're good then. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for answering my question. It's a great honor to meet all of you. And see you on some other time, I guess. Thank yeah, you. TTFN. Ta sure. ta for now, man. All righty. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let me go to the middle of my left here and call up. Uh, her name is, <clears throat> excuse me, Candy Shark. Uh, hello. Welcome. Also, bonus for the but profile photo. And you muted. Oh, can you, can you all hear me now? Yeah, now, now I can yep. hear you. What's your question? Oh, Okay, I can barely hear anybody else. I'm sorry. Hey, so what's your question? Okay, is, is there, how many people can I? I just want to ask all the characters, what do y'all want for Christmas? Let's how, let's let uh, Tails Dad start with that one. What me? Oh well, I'm I'm a pretty easy guy to go. Usually, uh, you know, the wife and my son will get me just some some gift cards for some coffee. Uh, they got me an espresso machine. I'm really hoping that I can get a new. Uh, what are those things called? A tamper for the espresso machine? Because there's a horrible incident where I will. I don't really want to talk about it, but it's gone. Yeah, it's it's never coming back. So I'd like a new one of those for Christmas. I feel like that would be good. And, okay. you know, I think that's all I really want. And world peace and a, another coffee, please. Nice. How about silver? Um, probably a bigger box. <laughs> <laughs> Can't really fit in mine. I'm, I'm a growing boy. <laughs> hey, you, want to that, you can go to Robot Pirate Island. Uh, I tried Ooh. to fit in your box, but my cheeks couldn't get through the door. <laughs> <laughs> and then what about uh, what about tails? What does tails want for Christmas? You know, actually, I need to upgrade my headphones. I was talking before about how I like to listen to music when I'm, uh, you know, when I'm working on my projects, and the current one is starting to get kind of old. But I'm I'm still trying to figure out like which one's like a good brand right now. I don't know what's popular, so I gotta maybe look it up. But Damn, yeah, he wants I a need good a brand. I got them from Wish.com. I better take those back real quick. <laughs> no. uh, but I'd be happy with anything yeah. because, like, the spirit of Christmas, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what about Amy? Oh, oh, besides me. Oops. Oh, well, yeah. what am I supposed to say besides you? A, a um, clue? Oof. <laughs> <laughs> you want a clue? Well, let's see. No, you need to get a oh, okay, You know what? It's it's Christmas time. I'm not going to do this. We're not going to do this in front of other kids. Ooh, I've got a good one. Actually, from the Sonic Prime show, they just came out with a bunch of action figures of me in all my different outfits. I want some figurines of me. I'm finally in all the merch. 
Yay. There you go. Uh, and then, uh, okay, I'll try to do this quickly. Okay, what um, I was going to say, uh, Sandy, which characters from my roster do you want to know uh, are getting for Christmas? Pick two. Um, um, and I guess Sonic, of course. Ten. He always be good to hear from him and Eggman. Okay, good. Um, hmm. What do I want for Christmas? Well, I always used to be like, oh, I want time off for Christmas. I want to be lazy. No, we're, we're, we're done with that. What I want for Christmas is, you know, I'll take one of those Steam decks because then I could play games on the go. You know, that's really strange, Sonic. That's what I wanted, too. So I could play games while I tried to kill you. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We gotta take month. some stuff back to the shops. We're 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 in trouble. <laughs> oh wait, I wasn't muted. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and I believe there was a text question in there from Michael DeWolf. If you wanted to read that, uh, Michael sent in a text question. Uh, yeah. I I oh. see a different text question from, but I will look for Michael's. Oh. See me, please. <laughs> Michael the Wolf's question was, to everyone, what was your favorite Christmas present? The socks mom gave me on the first Christmas with Sonic we all got together. No. <laughs> My favorite one ever is when I got, like, the PlayStation 2. That was super dope. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a few years now, thing. but that one was really... Thanks, you know, I Dad. did get you a dreamy cast of, but you made me take it back to get you the PS2 because you wanted to play Grand Theft Auto because you wanted to pull up to those cute girls on the street and have them get... Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> Well, I mean, That's there wasn't a DVD it. player either. That was the biggest issue. It is yeah, true. We, we, it was we, like, so our, our, our copy of Andre and VHS finally gave up, so we had to get a new DVD. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tails was obsessed with that movie, wasn't he? You know, we had, there were things like Sonic Heroes was on that one. They had the Gems Collection. I mean, the Writer Series was a little clunky, but, uh, you know, it was still kind of fun. They had lots of good yeah, games for us on Listen, there. Listen, all that matters is that Christmas, Tails got the PS2, I got the GameCube, and we just went to each other's houses and played all the cool games between those two. What about you, yeah, Silver? Before, what, 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 did you, you get that copy of Andre on VHS? <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never seen it. That's, that's about the seal, right? <laughs> it's about the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay, you know what? Uh, it's got to be... The X Plus Large Monster Series King Caesar figure that I got from Blaze. You're welcome. Dang, I gotta get me it one was... of those girlfriends. Uh, it. Excuse Wait, me. What? Uh, uh, anyway, that was very difficult to track down on eBay. The scalpers, Sonic. The scalpers. <laughs> that, that sounds rough. You know, I went to a scalpers convention one time, and they all didn't live to see the telltale. Your Lord. Whoa. You see, this is why I just like to hang out with Silver in his box. He doesn't say Chris yeah, things I, like that. It sounds safer. <laughs> hey, listen, Silver's box is kind of cool. He's got like an easy bake oven in there. And a security system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little toad. <laughs> a little frog. And he, he goes, excuse me. <laughs> so he tries to get off, excuse me. You can't come in. Except for you, Cream. <laughs> Oh no. oh no, is this going to be on a cringe compilation? <laughs> as long as nobody burps. Uh, oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, <not again. laughs> I guess that's what everybody wants for Christmas. <laughs> well, the best thing we ever got, well, the best thing I ever got was getting to see my son again for Christmas. No, oh, yeah, uh, I remember that. Yeah, that when was you the didn't best sound one. Like that? I'm yeah, sorry, unfortunately, I was under a cold. Like I didn't. That. I didn't sound like that, but I got better. <laughs> it was under caffeinated. There was not coffee on the island, and boy, did he drink a lot of the seawater. I can't speak Ugh. for Shadow, but but but, and I tried to make him coconut coffee, but it didn't work. It, <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do a cakey voice. Shadow, he tried. He tried his best, <laughs> but it it just wasn't the same. He took like these little mushrooms that he found underground. He'd ground them up and he put them into this drink and. Well, never mind. It was it was I fun also, though, but it wasn't good coffee. I gotta mention it's so funny when we talk about silver living in a box, but like in Scared Stupid Four, we like we we go back to the trailer, but it's all like banged up because of the Christmas with Sonic. So it's like a ruined trailer, but he's like too proud to get rid of it. Isn't that like um didn't like towards like the end of I forget if it was IDW or like Archie, like end of the Archie run, like didn't um didn't Silver live in like a porta potty or something? Like he had like <laughs> No, like, didn't he have, like, he had, like, some kind of, like, little shack kind of thing, right? 
I don't know. Is that I, I, I could have sworn I seen a comic panel of that? Uh, uh, yeah, somebody, somebody says uh, it was Archie. Yeah, uh, yeah, Radar in the chat says, yeah, it was Archie. All right, we should get to the next question. Yeah, yeah that we should. So I will get in my middle of my left and call up Nightcat. Hey. Hey, welcome. hello. Okay, this question is for Sonic, and I've also been a longtime fan of fan of all the Sonic stuff you guys have done. Yeah. yeah but uh, Sonic, what was the most embarrassing thing your mom ever did to you? Oh, man, the most embarrassing thing. Well, tell everybody, probably, please. I need to know this. <laughs> it would probably be the time incident. Well, that see, that was embarrassing for my friends, but there was a time we were at the mall and mom was still try- thinking she was a rock star. And there were some kids singing uh, Christmas carols up on stage. So she pushed them all over and started singing and she did sing better than them. But uh, that was kind of embarrassing because the parents were suddenly blaming me for it because I have that uh, hero thing, I guess. Hmm. And that's I, awful, I think man. That be it. It's terrible. Uh-huh. It's terrible. All right. Mm-hmm. All so thank you for your question there, Nightcat. Mm-hmm. All right, so we got about 10 minutes left. How many more questions do you think we could get in, uh, Steve? Any other? What, however many you want to do. We're, we're on a roll here, so uh, we'll, we'll leave it to you. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll let you choose the next person, Anne. Uh, how about Radar? Hey, Radar. Hello. Hello. Greetings. I make it in the last minute. <laughs> uh, can you guys hear me? Well, yeah. Yes, well, I, yeah. What's your question, What's your question for the characters? Uh, I'm also kind of in like a little bit of a rush, so I um I won't take long on this. Um, I want to ask a question to uh, Mr. Prower. Uh, sorry. Uh, or do I refer to you as Ted? Uh, uh, either works. Hello. His full legal name is Tails' is dad. It's on my license right. now, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'll just roll with that. Tails and Dad. Uh, I wanted to ask you a question. I hope no one has asked this, but uh, you are a bit of a coffee person, yes? I sure am. Boy, is he. Are you, uh, <laughs> are you able to share with us what was your weirdest experience with coffee? Not like your best or your worst, but like your weirdest, like your most strangest just experience with having a coffee product. Hmm, that is a good question, because weird is, uh, that can be taken a bunch of different ways. I think the weirdest thing I ever experienced was I was driving uh, down to go to a lake to go for a little swim, and I stopped to get some coffee on the way. You know, a standard coffee place, I usually stop off at Tim's on the way. And I don't know how they managed to do this, but the coffee tasted like deep fried water. I don't know how you can possibly deep fry water. But that's what it tasted like. And I was just blown away by it. I was like, it didn't necessarily taste like, like it didn't taste like coffee, obviously, but it wasn't, it wasn't the worst coffee I've ever had. I've had t- terrible coffee that it made me spit it out. This was more perplexing. This is like, how can, how did this even happen? I don't know how you can make deep fried water and sell it as coffee, but apparently they found a way. And the other strangest one is the one where Shadow tried to make me the coffee on the island and it, uh, it didn't work out so well. You know, he tried, but. It wasn't good. You I, I drank it for it was him. from the other end. Well, yeah, I, uh, hmm, it wasn't the best time, but that was strange. That was a strange time to get deep fried water instead of coffee. Super weird. That is, I would say that's super weird. Well, well, I will. Yeah, that, I mean, I asked for it and there's the story. Wow. That deep fried water. What does that even. It I'm tastes awful. Over. It's and it's I'm, awful, I'm but it's like in its own interesting way. It's like like it's not like when you get a bad coffee, you taste it and you go ah. This I taste and went like what? I was so perplexed. I didn't understand what I was tasting. Well, I got my answer, and I am certainly surprised. <laughs> well, I'm glad I had a weird coffee tale to st- uh, to share with you. And I'm glad you got to share it. Well, uh, well then, uh, well, thank you for answering my question, and uh, I hope you all have a great day, great night. Thanks, you too. Yeah. Bye. Good night. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Alex, you're a treasure. Aww, Every thanks, time he talks, it's so cute. I want to keep him in a Wait box. Wait a minute. <laughs> I was supposed to be there. muted. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, no. What in 4K? <laughs> We're going to couple bait you all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we have time for one more question. I'll call up uh, Cat Plays 9. That's the last question. And then our panelists can get their final word. Sounds good. Hello? 
Hello. Push to talk. Happy holidays, everyone. Hello. Hello. Happy holidays. Oh, my God. This. Silver in a box. Happy I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. I didn't catch that. You're breaking out. Oh, I thought it was my box so Wi Fi. Hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> I just silver in a box. The Wi Fi from Starbucks. Why is silver in a box? I think that was a question. Oh, why am I? Oh, anyway. It's my home. <laughs> I think she's having technical issues. Just, they just got erased from existence. Oh, no. Type, your yeah, Type your question. Type your question. Yeah. And you Silver type your... leashes the Wi Fi off the McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Gets all the happy meal toys. I keep trying to tell him Tim's has the better Wi Fi, but. Yeah, your microphone is breaking up there. I thought mm-hmm. you were going to say your box wife. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> box wife. I mean, Blaze, position's open. Uh, cease and desist. We're just box with <laughs> friends. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wink, wonk. Well, listen, they're, you're going to be box Netflix mates. and boxing, and then suddenly you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> that sounds like a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Silver will draw something else on the TV on the wall. <laughs> I, I would watch. I would watch Blaze and Silver fight. He's drawing, he's drawing the TV. Yeah. It's almost like a picture, he, he has a little whiteboard. No, I like the idea of it being on the cardboard, like it's scribbled out stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he's like puts like Godzilla on there. Oh, let's change the channel. He scribbles out Godzilla, puts like hit the clown or something. I don't know. Oh, no, Silver, I was watching that. Go back to Godzilla. <laughs> With Fred Flintstone, he draws. You have to redraw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and do we do we want to get like one more question? Because oh, I, I don't think it. he's responding. Yeah, Cat yeah, plays. Cat plays more. got their question. Uh, Cat oh, plays. Yeah. Nine said, "What does Christmas mean to you?" Ooh, All that's right. a good last question. Uh, who's that for? Should it just? I guess should we just go down the list of our main characters uh, and and that'll be that. For yeah, we can do that. All right, you start, like Silver. What, what does Christmas mean to you, Chris Silver? Hmm. Uh-huh. Toys. You <laughs> 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 threw off my mojo. <laughs> Stop. Oh. <laughs> You know what? I know this is really cheesy, but it's spending time with the people you love and their toys <laughs> and their toys. Yeah, they got to eat a lot of turkey so we can, they can go to sleep and we can play with their That's toys. Up, 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 tofurkey. Oh, I, uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with that? Okay, what about you, uh, Tails Dad? What does Christmas mean to you? What does Christmas mean to me? Well, Christmas has always meant the same thing to me. It means the time to get together with family and friends, put aside all differences with enemies. Just have a day to be nice to everybody. And also, I get a lot of coffee and eggnog on that day, so I can't really complain. I'm not a fan of waking up really early, though, because I'm not, I'm not so young and spry anymore. The kids always wake up super, super early. And don't even tell me what that purple guy does. He just, he will not go to bed, but... That's besides it's the point. I love Christmas. It's only 2 a.m., baby. Fortnite, please. come on! It's Listen 2 a.m., okay. go to bed! I am in bed, blah, 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 with my Steam Deck that Daddy got me for Christmas. I Dad. played the game. I didn't open that yet. I want my own room! <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, okay, we'll try and get that for you, son. I'll try and build one for you. <laughs> and I have my own room laws. for Christmas, Dad. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe, I'll sleep okay. in a treehouse. Santa! <laughs> Santa, I need you again. Oh, sorry, Please but my help. leg is still broken from last night. <laughs> wow. oh, that was a pretty good one. Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, what about, how about uh, Tails and I guess Amy and Blaze? What does Christmas mean to them if you want to take on three characters? Well, I mean, I think Silver and my dad got the, like, like got the primary answer. Like, uh, we get really busy running around on our adventures all the time. And it can be a little life-threatening, not to give Dr. Eggman too much credit, but it can be a little, you know, disturbing. Uh, we could get blown up any day, so Christmas is an excellent time to just spend some time with your family. It's important. And then uh, I guess, let's see. you want to uh, go for then- a- do you want to do those two, or do you... 
I don't mind. Uh, hi, everyone. This is Rouge the Bat. I didn't get very many questions, um, because Lots I keep myself bad. pretty subtle. Thank you, honey. Um, I keep things pretty subtle, and I get to, you know, I'm usually in the, uh, the post-credits teasers and things like that. Um, but what I want for Christmas is to be the star of the next one, Christmas with Rouge, and I'll get all the presents. Who's yeah, good, 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 good luck with that. I there was I got one because I'm the real star, and what Christmas means to me is is hmm. Oh, how could I forget? Of course, the cranberry sauce. Oh my God, I love the cranberry sauce. If it's ever forgotten, I will destroy you. I, I don't think my mom would forget like cranberries, dude. Chill out. Fine. I uh, did once. I did once. It was yeah, a and terrible, that's and that's why year. we had to go back in time and, and give give that to Eggman. Uh, okay, so Christmas to me. Uh, okay, so like you know, when I started this whole little get together thing, I was kind of like, ah, this is stupid. This is cringe. I don't want to be with other people. But I've learned that the best part of Christmas and like what it means to me is, of course, yeah, la la la, be with family. But I'm going to be honest with you, Christmas to me is that moment when you have your Christmas dinner and you have the mashed potatoes and the stuffing and the gravy and they kind of collapse. Lied. Oh, that's Christmas to me. And I think that should be good. <laughs> All righty. So we are out of time for questions. Was there any uh, last word our panelists would like to give before we wrap up this panel? Yeah, Alex, uh, uh, KN, Ted, plug your stuff. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, this has been Alexander the Swell, and you can find me uh, in the toy aisle at Kmart. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Is Tamar even around anymore? You'll find me at that uh, uh, in, in the toy aisle where all the creepy people are. Are you in Australia now? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I also just want to say uh, uh, thank you uh, to everybody that uh, that hosted us today. Um, this has been uh, this has been really fun. And Alex is working on an amazing video. When it comes out, if you all don't watch it, I will find you and I oh, will not kiss thanks, you. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's it's about Mecha Sonic. So that's right. Ooh, wow. saucy. <laughs> How about you, Theodore? Mm, uh, so yeah, this has been a uh, uh Ted. Um, am I allowed to plug something? This like sort of a little like fundraiser I'm doing as well right now, or is that yeah. too far? Will people yeah, execute me for that? <laughs> um, about a year ago, I found a cat outside that was injured. Bruce. It had been hit by a car or something. Bruce, yes. Previously, Betty, I thought I thought it was a girl because I it didn't seem like it was a fixed male. I didn't realize. Uh, but we found this, this cat last year. And what happened was I paid like three thousand dollars to get this cat fixed. And turns out he belonged to the neighbors two houses down. So I gave him back last year at Christmas time. It was a Christmas present to give the cat back. Turns out this year, Christmas time, they've moved out and they've left Bruce behind. So now I've got a, a now he he is my cat, I guess, because like I'm not going to let him go. I, he's, he's a wonderful little fella. And unfortunately, it could not have come at a worse time because I have no money to take on another cat right now. But he needs to go to the vet. He needs to get checked out, probably needs shots. Um, so if you guys would like to help out Bruce, can I should I post it in the Sonic R show discussion thing for the Twitter link? Is that yeah, a good spot? Yeah, to put it? fine. OK, I have here a little link. This is uh, what I've been up to. I've got the little Kofi link there. If you felt like donating towards getting Bruce some supplies. Uh, I was playing with him today and he <laughs> took a chunk out of my hand because he doesn't have any real toys to play with at the moment because he destroyed oh, no. the other ones already. Uh, he's got sharp claws, but he's such a sweet little fellow. And I really like to get him the life he deserves because he is like he is a sweetheart. He's one of the nicest cats I've ever met. And I'm so mad they left him behind because the saddest thing is that he sits outside and looks for them. And that just breaks my heart. Aww. So I want to get what I can for him. And I'm going to try and give him the best life he can have. And if, if not, then that's fine, too. Obviously, it's a hard time of year. I understand. I just want to say I appreciate everybody who has donated to Steve's Patreon as well. Thanks, everybody, for all that. Helping Steve also helps out everybody who works with Steve. So. Uh, I think that wraps it up for me. I took a lot of time. Thank you. Uh, uh, Steve, oh, was there anything else you wanted to say about your Patreon that I have up, up on the screen here? I have it uh, set, to the, set to the stretch goal of the return of questions from Wistani. Yeah, uh, real quick, KN, did you have anything you wanted to say before we wrap up? Uh, I live here. I make Sonic the Hedgehog videos. 
everybody knows you. Look you're, like, you're the, the best tales, the best tales ever. So well, everybody should know. Thank you. you. Um. So yeah, uh, as far as the Patreon goes, uh, we're at we're at nineteen thirty eight a month uh, out of we need five uh, to continue working because uh, just the way the world is right now. Um, it's really important that everyone pledges to the Patreon so we can break free of YouTube. Uh, they are killing the channel. So if you love Christmas with Sonic, uh, just, you know, give a little, it's a dollar a month. That's less than the price of a can of soda. Or I know a lot of us millennials eat a lot of McDonald's and junk food that just make your drink one size smaller for the month for one time during the month that you could, you could do it. Um, we are working on a big movie called Sonic and Scared Stupid, the final chapter. It is going to be the most ambitious thing we've ever done, and it needs to get that 5000 a month to see it. I know a lot of you guys are big fans of Sydney in here. She played Mel, and she is honestly probably one of the most amazing voice actors I've ever had the pleasure of working with. So Yes. Got it. Got to see her. her on screen. You'll see her a little bit soon. I'm working on a animation right now called Sonic in the Arms of an Angel. It is a parody <laughs> of those uh, commercials about like the sad animals outside in the cold during winter. Um, it's, it's so uh, Mel will be in that for a little bit. So please support the channel. Um, I really hope that uh, we can get this going because we love what we do. Obviously, you guys all in here today prove just how much the community loves us and how much we love you guys. And we just want to make things right. And, uh, you know, everyone in here will be in the movie, you know, silver's in it. And, uh, of course, uh, KN did an amazing job and tails dad's in it. And so let's, uh, let's, let's see it happen huh? and it can all happen. Exactly. Huh? Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I appreciate your support, everyone. If we could, uh, try to get this done, spread the word. If you can't, you mm -hmm. know, pledge that, that helps just as much. Yeah, well, thank you all very, very much for coming. Steve, we, we always enjoy having you and, and the others and, and KN and, and, of course, Emmy down and, and the audience there. We always enjoy you having you all at the guest here at Sonic Revolution. And we, we, we want you to keep coming, coming back. We, I will we, come as long as I am invited. You. I will be there physically for everyone. You should come to, to Sonic Revolution. It is a blast and you can meet me. You can give me a hug. You can, you can, I'll sign whatever you throw it at me. And just, uh, we're, we're going to try to get that, that, that Christmas with Mel panel going. If we can, if, 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 it, if we can coordinate it right. So that'd be fun to do that, do this in person. So, yeah. uh, be there. Thank you, Sonic Revolution. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, everyone. You know who and Sydney. I know you couldn't be here because you're sick. Hopefully, you'll feel better soon. But it's always yeah, a big pleasure wish, to get Sydney. Wish her well. Raise your hands and give her the spirit bomb. Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> love you, Sydney. Get well, Sydney. Good day. Good day. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for co-hosting with me, Anne. Uh, and the next panel we got scheduled is this Wednesday at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific Time. That is Silver and Blazes Winter Festival, and that's hosted by our own co-founder, Sonic Remix, or a.k.a. Shane. So be sure to tune in for that. And also tomorrow night uh, at 1 p.m. PST to 4 p.m. EST, or 1 p.m. Listen, from it's 4 EST, 1 PST. Uh, this, it is the movies that you guys voted on, which is Beauty and the Beast, Lion King, Mulan, Emperor's New Groove, and Treasure Planet. All right. So we'll see you then. Night, everybody. Have, have a good Take night. Take care. Bye. 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 Good night, everybody.